and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, Yay! where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons. Or that. We also wow. do that, I guess. Uh, same embarrassment you feel about us, the way we're feeling about you now. The fuck was that? <laughs> we are currently playing Dungeons and Dragons. Oh my god. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Uh, we're already loopy. What could possibly go wrong? So yes, welcome. Uh, before we jump into tonight's game, we have some announcements to get through real fast. So hold tight for just a moment. Uh, first and foremost, uh, continuing uh, tonight's sponsorship with our friends at D and D Beyond. <laughs> Uh, our, our, our now uh, long-term partner, super excited to be working with them uh, uh, for the foreseeable future for the time being with the show. Uh, Sam, you have some words, I believe. To plug our good f friends at D&D Beyond, I need my fellow castmates to help me. Can we practice? Can you all say, boo? Boo! boo. Can you all say, yay? Yeah! yeah. Okay, the official digital tool set for Critical Role is D&D Beyond. Yeah! A great service to organize everything D&D, rules, spells, character sheets, and more, all with a pesky pen and paper. <laughs> no, you can access it digitally on your computer, <laughs> mobile, or tablet. Yeah! <laughs> the cast is using D&D Beyond every week, except for Taliesin. <laughs> Just kidding, he is. Yeah! <laughs> and, <laughs> I have to use both the boo and the yay, or else it doesn't make sense. <laughs> he can do cool stuff like activate critical role content in his character builder and create a blood hunter. Yeah! And do you think they charge an arm and a leg? Yeah. <laughs> no, they don't! D&D yeah. yeah. Beyond is offering a discount of $10 off any digital book in their shop. Use code BEGINNINGS at checkout. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. So check them out at D&D Beyond. Is that D and D Beyond? Yeah. No, is that D N D Beyond? Yeah. Yeah. And this spot was written by Sam Regal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 thank you so much, Sam. Sure. And thank you, uh, Dini Beyond, for being our partners for this new campaign. Uh, for Richard. Oh. Good for you. I did. It was like a little complacent, person. but I gave. I yeah. gave him one. Yeah, you're Good a job. Yeah. <laughs> it's really terrifying. Oh, man. All right, uh, let's see. Talk to Makina. Of course, our uh, after talk show about this episode will be on next Tuesday, as it is uh, every Tuesday after the show at 7 p.m. Pacific time here at Twitch and Alpha, Project Alpha, with our host, Brian W. Foster. I always burp when I say his name. I wonder what that says about him. I don't know why. I don't know. It's that cabbage smell. It's the cabbage, yeah. Uh, so check that out. Uh, merch, Laura, if you got any updates. Yeah. So, you know, we talked about those posters last week. Um, so they're still in the store on pre-order. Some of them, oh shit. Some of them are getting shipped out, like now. So Yay. you should be getting them soon. Yay! Yay. Um, and then we're gonna leave them on pre-order yeah. until Monday night. So if you're watching this on YouTube after it's been aired live, you've got until midnight to put in that order. Yay! Yay. And then they're gonna be gone. Well, we might have a small overage that remains in the store, but pre-order's <laughs> done. And then they'll be got, you know what I mean. <coughs> and then hey, check out that other stuff like uh, shirts and hats dice. and dice. And we should be getting some more Vax Machina D20s. I know a lot of people have been asking about them. They're going to be restocked hopefully within the next week. Um, and then more will be coming soon if those sell out. You know how it goes. Great. Thank you, Laura. Uh, let's see. Podcast. <laughs> Uh, the episode one of this campaign is already up. Hello! Um, so for those of you following in podcast form or have friends who've been waiting to just listen to the podcast on their commute, it is available, uh, the first episode. Uh, and exactly, and every Thursday morning we'll have the campaign, uh, or the, the episode of the previous week available, and we'll be keeping those up consistently as the campaign progresses. And we also have the entire story of Vox Machina currently available on podcast. So, so rad. Uh, makes me happy. Um, so also, once again, uh, we are uh, firmly in support for our longtime charity uh, partners, uh, 826LA. Yeah, they do right. awesome work uh, teaching creative writing classes uh, for uh, children who normally wouldn't have the opportunity to get involved. Uh, and they're, they do fan phenomenal work. I recommend you research them, and if you can, uh, either help uh, with a donation or actually you can donate your time as well to help teach and be part of the program if one's near you. So yeah. go check we it out. We were talking to one of um, the heads at A26LA um, over the break, Joel, mm -hmm. and he was saying that like they would love to do D&D, &D, but no one on their staff 
knows how to DM or do D and D. And so, like, if there's an A two six in your area and you're like, I know, I'll start a D and D club. I'm sure they'll be open to it. Just go talk to them. Yeah, yeah. Like, go teach kids D and D. Yeah, hey. run a game for a bunch of cool teenagers and show them how awesome this yeah. game is. Or cool eight year olds who are equally as amazing. Exactly. Or dorky. Eight-year-olds or teenagers. Those are the same? That's kind of the same thing. Nerd is chic now, man. I like to think I was always cool. No, it's not true at all. Uh, oh, no. I, I'm still we're trying to get there. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, let's see. Appearances. Uh, Lauren Travis will be at Emerald City Comic Con in Seattle, March 2nd to the 4th. So up in that area, go over and say hi to them. Uh, I will be at Lexington Comic and Toy Con in Lexington, Kentucky, March 9th to the 11th. Kentucky. Uh, mm -hmm. As well as uh, Oda Fest in Calgary, up in Canada, uh, May 18th to the 20th, and Acon in Texas, June 7th to the 10th. Um, Calgary is like the Kentucky of Canada, so you're. Hey, I've heard that. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll like, take that as a compliment. They have yeah. Yeah. I am it's also going bourbon. to Back Anime, Ooh, not to be confused with Sack Anime, on February 3rd and 4th. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. That's -A -K. soon. That's real soon. So I'll be there. Nice. Be yeah. There. Beautiful. And I believe. Wait. Oh, wait. What? Comic book next week. Oh, issue right. That was the list. Issue four. I bet. Comic book. Issue you. four. Issue four. Issue four on the twenty fourth. I believe it is. Yes, right. By, by far, is the, the most fourth of all of these books. It's easily the, the most fourth. I'd agree with you on that. Actually, like mm -hmm. that's true. Thank you. This oh, is yeah. new. This is just, 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 just went for this. It's going to slowly darken over time. I want it's going to be kind of dark. Into pure shadow. Oh. <laughs> it's it's gonna be it's gonna be it, it's gonna be key uh, no, key framed and like and like photoshopped. I'm aware. Like this is like what I was. Oh doing. please, the imitation oh, is there, folks. Screen cap totally and Photoshop away. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah I've, I've already been told that it's gonna happen. Pro <laughs> They're like, we're already on it. Yeah, I love it. All right, cool. That's awesome. On that note, that concludes our announcements. Thank you for your patience. Mm. Ah. And I believe it's time for us to begin tonight's episode of Critical Role. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Last we left off, our slowly gathering band of adventurers had begun to have their stories intertwined in the city of Trostenwald, on the southern reaches of western White Andir, on the continent of Wildmount. Here we had Nott and Caleb, who had been traveling southward, coming and meeting in the center of the tavern of the Nestled Nook Inn, with Jester, Beauregard, and Ford, upon which they were invited to a nearby carnival that had begun preparing for the performances later that evening, in which they met Yasha and Molly. Um, after swapping some stories, earning and losing some gold, uh, they began to gather at the outskirts of the Ustalak, the lake right on the eastern edge of Trostenwald, for the first opening performance of the fledgling Moondrop Curi Carnival of Curiosities. Traveling Carnival. Traveling Carnival of Curiosities. Um, Upon entering the tent, uh, they saw a number of performances. <laughs> However, during uh, a musical performance by this uh, this young dwarven girl, whose voice was this mysterious, magically enchanting experience, uh, a member of the audience rose up and began to transform into a terrible, f sort of undead creature 
that began to just lash out, killing another member of the audience, who then began to become one of these same creatures. You all, grabbing your weapons from Yasha, who had been keeping them stashed away, leapt into the fray, slaughtered both of these terrible beasts, just in time for the Crown's Guard to rush in and ask you what the hell happened. After information had been gathered of who was immediately available and responsible for this carnival, Gustav, uh, Bo the Breaker, and Molly were marked to be arrested. Uh, one of the guards was escorted outside of the tent by Yasha, who was going to show him uh, where this young dwarven girl was currently resting. And upon being led astray to the wrong tent, she just ran into the distant hills and vanished. <clears throat> um, and that is where we left off. So. So we're still at the carnival. You're still in, still the, tent. in the tent. With Crown Scott. Uh, with, with, with the Crown Scott and with Watchmaster Ajasid. Ajasid. <clears throat> at which point, the Crown's guard that had left, not but a moment before, comes rushing in, his breath huffing, sweat dripping from his brow, his eyes kind of wild. He goes, ah, Watchmaster! She, the, the woman, the, the, the big woman, she, she's gone! She's at which point, the Watchmaster turns to him and says, You three, go with him, search for her. They all immediately run out, back the, uh, the exit performer's flap, and he turns to the rest of you in the group. Shackle and drag those three down to the stockade. <clears throat> and about five guards approach and begin to press Gustav, Bo, and Molly to the ground and begin to put chains and shackles on them. I'd like to make a counteroffer. <laughs> He's like in, in mid speech as he says, the, <laughs> the rest of you keep an eye on the performers here. Ask around, see what you can find. As for the others, don't go far. The innocent patrons, you mean? You may be innocent, in which case you have nothing to worry about. However, we have an investigation to complete. So, I would ask that you stay within the city and wait until you're called in. You will be questioned, and when this investigation is completed, regardless of how long it may take, you are not to leave Trostenwald. If I could just uh, contribute one word, um, the 40 or so people who are outside and the rest of us will vouch for this one, the colorful one, he saved uh, many people's lives. Don't take my word for it, there's, there's everyone outside. Kind of all the rest of the Crown's guard glance at each other, he goes, well, unfortunately, that is not for me to decide. The Lawmaster would have to be appealed to. If you wish to come with us, we can bring you along with us to the stockade and you could speak with her. Then perhaps she may grant you leniency, but I can give you no guarantee. Uh, why don't you just question us right now? I'm confused on why you don't, you know, just do that. Now? Well, we could do that instead. We'll have you arrested, put you away in the stockade as we question the rest of you. No, let's go to the stockade. Yeah, we'll do it in one place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, jails are not my favorite terrain. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to point that out. <clears throat> not this go around. No. Nope. Good to know. I would have guessed that. No jails. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't, not really comfortable with that. So, we're leaving. The rest of you, stay in here, watch over the performers, make sure nobody leaves. Come if you wish, otherwise we'll be in touch. And the, uh, the Watchmaster gathers alongside the other five Crowns Guard, lifting up the shackles of the three that have been arrested and begin to drag them outside of the tent into the night air. I sent Frumpkin to follow. Okay. Um, can I double back into the performance area and see if I can find that little girl that they're looking for before they do? Uh, you may, if you want to. Uh, all right, so you send Frumpkin just to follow them. You guys are staying behind them. Are, we going are right? there, are there three regular Crowns Guard that are going with Molly, or is the Watchmaster going with them as well? The Watchmaster is going with them, or at least he's exiting the tent with them. It looks like there are five Crowns Guard attending the three of them that are shackled. I'll wow. go out the front exit of the tent just to see if the Watchmaster goes with Molly. <laughs> okay. I'll follow four. Okay, so the two of you are following anybody with them. Really, it's you two and Frumpkin. Are we going with them or not? Should we stay here? This is not our affair, right? I don't know. I, I am having second thoughts about being here at all. Well, you, you sent the cutie, didn't you? Yes, and we're not going to leave without him. Um, why don't we just uh, follow behind a bit? That's right. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> 
All right, so as you guys exit and kind of keep a pace behind <laughs> watching the Crown's Guard guiding the, uh, the current uh, prisoners towards the actual city, um, Frumpkin keeping kind of a zigzagging distance behind and following. Uh, DM, yes. is it possible for me, if not is holding my hand and leading me to go full third eye and uh, walk <clears throat> blind and deaf here looking through Frumpkin's senses? I, I would say yes, but you're purely like, this, all you're doing is walking forward and you need someone to guide you. Right. And, and I can't communicate to me either, so. Well, no, I you, can he talk, can't hear you, he can't yeah. see you. But I can't hear you, I can talk and I can shit. hold her hand so she can stop me from pratfalling. Yes, yeah. but you can talk? <laughs> sure. He can talk, but he can't but I can't, hear you. I can't hear you. Got it, fucking Brandon. Okay, great. great. But we've done this before, so you know yes. to squeeze my hand really hard <clears throat> if I should pipe down. Sure. All right. So, first off, Beauregard. Yeah. As you back out of the performer's exit of the yeah. tent into the center of their encampment, the immediate exit, um, there are already four Crown's Guard that are currently searching around and kind of setting up a watch perimeter around the different tents. They're gathering and making sure that none of the other performers have fled and a lot of them are being kind of brought out into an area where there's a number of tents all facing towards a large campfire in the center. There's a couple of chairs set up there. It's kind of the common area for the performers at the carnival. Um, and it looks like they're all just kind of being put out there so they can get a beat on it and make sure they know where everyone else is. Um, I'm going to try and like be aloof, kind of stealth a little bit. I don't want to make myself completely known. Are you trying to like stealth out of sight or just trying to not draw attention? No, just trying not to draw attention. Okay, all right. Um, go ahead and make a stealth check just to see if. Uh, By the way, did we the just all ditch Marisha? Yeah, she just she walked out. <laughs> yeah, okay. she ditched you guys. I did. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Cox. Take better. the cock. That's better. Uh, uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Uh, as you kind of dart through the flap of the tent and move behind one of the large um, carts that currently is still affixed to a horse that is currently just chewing on an apple and you hear the crunch in its teeth. You glance over past the edge of the immediate near tent and you can see this group gathering there and it appears that no one's immediately aware of your presence. Do I see the little girl whose name was, what was her name? Toya. Toya? Toya. Um, you do not see her yet. Like the, the guard just got out there and they're just beginning to pull people out. You do see um, uh, the, the fire dancer brought out there. <laughs> you, then, you then see the two, uh, the, yeah, or no, or the, the, the Knot sisters are brought out and kind of pushed out there, and you see they're all kind of Are people looking, being frustrated. amicable? Yeah, they're just, they're, they're not like shoving them around, but they're just calling them out to the front so they know where they are. Okay, I want to like look around. Do I see any type of like movement in the shadows? Anyone looking suspicious? Make a perception check. Oh yeah, uh, natural 18, 21. 21. Okay, as you glance about, you don't see anything lurking in the shadows. What you do uh, notice, though, is one of them bring Toya out of one of the, uh, the, the tenants on the southern side. And as he brings her out, there's a heavy thud sound. And you see coming up from behind the tent the large form of uh, you heard the name Kauri once, but the, the devil toad, the, the the obese lizard man who's kind Kauri, of like right? stomping up behind. Is he like Ka a Kauri. dude or is he like a creature? Uh, it's yes. it, it looks like a lizard, a lizard folk, lizard man. So like scaled, humanoid, but extremely like thick, kind of uh, bulbous belly, large, almost frog-like legs. Bipedal. Okay. Hmm? Bipedal or on all but, fours. Uh, Due to, due, due to the, the, the size, size of his form, mostly kind of, all fours and kind of lumbering forward on all of them, but <clears throat> sits back on kind of a bipedal situation. So they're bringing the both of them out? Uh, well, the, the, uh, the toad is kind of hiding behind the tent, and as soon as Toya comes out, comes up to the guard and kind of puffs up its chest, and <laughs> the guard spins around and kind of goes for the blade and kind of pulls it out just carefully. Am I still next to that horse? Hmm? Am I still you are, next yes. to the horse? The horse, is, the horse is currently still uh, up on the cart, but is is about maybe three feet from you. Um, Beast shape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take my staff and just give a really nice whack to the horse to get it to run. You know what? 
let's go ahead and make uh, make an animal handling check on we that. We never get to make those. I know. <laughs> three less. First of the show. What's my? Three less. Animal survival. Oh my god, I'm so nervous right now. You're good. You're good. You're good. That's not great. Eleven. Eleven's fine. Eleven will do. It wasn't okay. a hard DC, but it was more knowing where to hit it. To where it would cause it to bolt versus just get angry. Get pissed. Sure, um, kick me. The anus. So, um, <laughs> going for a, you know, not not to actually like hurt the creature, but no, just enough to just spook it. Whip. You hit it a right place towards the back of its of, of its of its hind quarters to cause it to suddenly rear up <laughs> and go into a sprint. The car <laughs> begins to just like bounce and smash onto the ground. You can see the wheels kind of clattering into the rocks and the the stone between I'm the bits bolt of. In the opposite direction and try and loop around to the south side. Of the make a stealth check, please. Big dice, big dice. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, the the nineteen. <laughs> okay, um, you dart around the uh, the north side of these tents, and you're pretty sure you weren't seen, as far as you know. But as the as the cart begins to to bolt off behind this horse, you see all the crowds guard turn. The one that was currently staring at the devil toad kind of glances off to the side. As he glances off, the devil toad kind of takes Toya and just pulls her to him protectively, and uh, and the guard kind of puts his sword away and. Check. Points at them and then bolts off uh, to go after the horse. The other three stay, kind of watching over the group. Okay, can I loop around and kind of come up behind them? I mean, they're, they're, the, they're scattered a bit, but there's the devil toad and Toya. Oh yeah. Uh, make another stealth check. You're 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 running through open areas each yep, time yep, you yep, do this. Yep 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 yep. Oh! <laughs> Watch that happen. That's a bastard die right there. That's, that's, that's a tease. You, Laura, put him in the dice jail. <laughs> okay, I don't as have you, my dice jail out yet. It's okay. Hope as I'm you dead. come up around the back of the Devil Toad, uh, the guard that runs past <laughs> doesn't immediately notice you because he's focused on where this cart is running off. And uh, you can see another guard that was far away from this encampment that's circling back with him. The two of them are now bolting in the direction as the cart begins to slow. It's not just going for it forever, but it, you know it's spooked and it's starting to slow down. They're just going to inspect it. Um, however, as you kind of slink up behind, the Devil Toad's head kind of like curls back towards you, and you hear this deep guttural. It's okay. It's okay. Toya, look at Toya. Hey, come on. Let's let's get out of here. Let's go. Uh, at which point, a voice says, "Um, excuse me." <laughs> and you can see like the three guards are there, just staring at you. You didn't say there were fucking guards. I didn't say there were three guards. There were three three guards watching them. I thought that you said they got left. Well, one of them left. One of them left. Yeah. So wait. Oh shit. That's bad stealth check. I'm sorry, but but there's now three three crowns guard right there, and they're like, "Can I help you?" Time to go to jail. Oh, this is so exciting. Kill them all. Hey. Uh, I was actually just. uh, Looking for the loo. Mm-hmm. The the guard is closest to you. Kind of glances at the other guys and goes. So she was she was with the group, right? They recognize you, and they kind of look at each other. You're going to the stockade. Right? No. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the three guards slowly approach, and uh, they they begin to take out chains and manacle you up. <laughs> In an effort not to go to jail, you, you went to, to jail. the jail. I'm trying to get the girl. <laughs> <laughs> trying to free the damn girl. I know. <laughs> um, I'm like, shit. So, so, you, so, you, so you, you're shackled and you're going to be dragged towards the stockade. Um, uh, are the guy? Are the two guards like? It's just the two guards, right? It's the two guards now. Um, as you're being brought back, you can see more guards are coming from the city to the, to the carnival. Like they're keeping it. Under surveillance. So are they taking me away? They're while? taking you to the city, yeah. What are they doing with Toya? Anything? Are they leaving them behind? They're leaving them behind currently with the guards that are there. Like like they're they're not arresting anybody from the carnival, but they're not letting them leave. Like they're keeping them there. <laughs> um Okay. I'm gonna just do a quick Kill them all. <laughs> I'm in the I'm in shackles. You are. Okay, I'm gonna do some monk shit here. Oh, I'm gonna elbow one of the guards. This is terrible. Right in the ribs, and take the other one and bash the other one in the face, and then I'm gonna turn to Toya and I'm gonna say, "Run, run, go, run." Well. Okay. Um, go ahead and <laughs> make all kinds of rolls. 
First, go ahead and make an athletics check. This is a terrible to, idea. To, to see if I you, like if you, to not drag any attention towards her. You are completely do, do shoving time, her into the know. limelight. I'm trying to just to I'm distract so these fucking assholes. That's so, so, so. <laughs> I'm so excited Ten. about this. So, no. yeah, yeah. so yeah. as you Welcome go to back too. to elbow, you get halfway there before your chains go taut. And you they're both kind of holding the chain at each side, and you can see the tension of it. You can't even get him from behind. So you're like, before you're halfway, you, you imagine it in your head. You go over it two or three times. And as you go through it, the first step doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> Tried to do the Sherlock right. Holmes pre fight. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so do I yeah. at least get the run out to Doya? No. Mm. I'm sorry. Is she just standing there, like, <laughs> waiting for another no, guard? She, no, they, they, she seems to be having a seizure in the yeah. chain. <laughs> <laughs> She's. <laughs> like, what is she doing? No. Is she running? No, she, she, honestly, like, the devil toad and her, like, seem pretty close. Like, he's grabbing her in a protective manner, and no, she's. No, they can both run. Right. Run for your life. Fine, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to get arrested at this point. Sorry. Two, two bad rolls in a row. Oh, no. Uh, oh, baby. Um, level two, man. I know, level two. Seriously. All right, Seriously. so. I go join my friends. Oh, you will shortly. <laughs> Ahead of her. Uh, <laughs> um, along the way, Gustav is just quiet. Uh, Bo the Breaker, Bosun, as you know by his mm. full name, um, is kind of grumbling under his breath and. Just kind of trying to out loud piece together thoughts on what may have transpired, saying things like, you know, I don't know, I have to. You think it's, you think it's, it's done on the inside, or is this somebody trying to sabotage it? I don't know. I think maybe it has nothing to do with us. I think maybe we were just caught in the crossfire. It's probably possible. <sighs> Sorry, sir. Yeah. I'll try and keep my mouth shut. It's, yeah, and at which point one of the guards kind of tugs a little bit and boots <clears> your chain and says, Quiet now. Save it for the lawmaster. They bring you in towards the. Um, you go in through the, the Locks Ward into the Hills Ward, which is the southern portion of Trostenwald. And you are brought to the outside of the Stockade, which is a large, uh, single story, though tall, uh, rectangular building of large stones and masonry. It's, it's built for uh, function. It's not a very beautiful building, but it's, it's defensible uh, and it seems fairly well made. Uh, however, there are the banners of the Crown's Guard marking the double door entrance. And as you brought within, uh, you can already see there's two central chairs where two current watch sit just watching the, the front gates, or the front door. Uh, beyond the right, you see, is an office that you guys are dragged to, and the rest of you eventually catch up to the group, and you're all brought inside this kind of darkened office. Um, inside, relatively simple. Uh, this isn't you know, a library-type study office. This is very much for function. Uh, there's a couple of small crates that contain materials that are kind of in too far in shadow to see the details of it. Look to be pieces of paper, probably gathered evidence, or weapons that have been reclaimed. Um, there is a stone desk on the far end, and there you can see, um, within this office, uh, already accompanied by a messenger dressed for immediate travel, it's a tough-looking dwarven woman in her middle years, uh, rapidly scrawling on parchment. You can see her black hair is streaked with silver, uh, kind of tumbling past her red and gray leather armor. Uh, she finishes writing on this parchment, rolls it up, and hands it to the messenger, who immediately darts out of the room without a word, past you guys, kind of giving you a brief look as he continues on whatever his business is. As soon as your eyes kind of pass off the messenger, you hear a loud slam, and you glance back, and you can see that she's kind of put her hands on the table, and she glances up. All oh, right, what sort of riffraff have you brought in to me this day? At which point, um, the watchmaster kind of takes the chains of the three of you and kind of pulls you towards the front of the group and says, oh, I'm sorry to be a bother, but we have three individuals arrested in connection with the, as you've heard so far, deaths at the carnival performance this evening. She kind of rolls her eyes. Oh, all right, bring them forward. They go ahead and pull the chains up. The watchmaster again bows his head and then leaves the room and leaves it. She steps forward and goes, I am Norda, and it's my job to keep this city safe and to keep shite like what happened tonight from happening. I approved your second time on the outskirts of our town, and you've killed two of my people. So. What have you say about yourselves? Oh, exactly how did we kill them, exactly? 
She glances over at you, glances over at uh, Gustav. I've been told by my guard that you uh, give a performance, and as part of this performance, you released two beasts into the midst of the population. Well, technically, he wasn't part of the performance. Technically, he was saving everyone, technically. Thank you, yes. Uh, well, you see, we actually had nothing to do. Gustav interrupts you and says, I'm so sorry, my liege. Uh, please, I take full responsibility for what happened this evening on myself. These people around me had nothing to do with this. They are not part of the carnival. They were just merely helping. Uh, it is my carnival, and uh, whatever judgment there lies, I take upon myself and my head. At which point, Bo, the half orc, steps forward, kind of against his chains, and goes, Gustav, what are you doing? He's like, shut up. Please, whatever judgment there is, put it upon me. And he bows his head low. Is that the case? See the only one? She takes a good, hard look at you and Bo the Breaker. Or oh, you're waiting for me to speak. Yes, he's the only one. <laughs> Pick persuasion check. <laughs> Natural 20. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> About fucking time, you little shit. <laughs> she gives you a look, looks over at Bo the Breaker, kind of shakes her head. Keep these two downstairs. This one let go. He seems to be free. We'll be talking to you very soon. At which point the crown scar dragged the chains back and Gustav gives you a quick look under his eye and goes, as they're pulled out of the room, out of sight, she glances to you. Well, you don't have to change, that's great. Doesn't mean you're absolved of the investigation. So, where are you staying, you and your compatriots? Oh, well, technically, we just all met, technically. <laughs> well, technically, as far as I'm concerned, you're all together as part of this investigation. <clears throat> We're a group, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> So, we're going to have our investigators come to wherever you're staying, which, uh, and she looks at some papers here, looks to be the uh, Nestle Nook. That's correct. All right. Don't leave the city. We'll be in touch. Great, I really like it here, so that's good that we get to stay so long. Do you have something to say? No, uh, just shocked to have seen someone die in front of me, not, uh, not more than just a month ago. I can assure you, we're here to cause no trouble. We will be as compliant as we possibly can be. Good. Dismissed. She slaps the edge of the table. Uh, the uh, remaining uh, Crown's Guard, who just kind of left there to keep a watch, escorts you out of the stockade, escorts you onto the street. Her accent is really really strong, it's hard to not match her accent. So one accent I really have yeah, trouble with. Yeah. Would you call it infectious? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The one, the one that we know is a problem. <laughs> um, I'm going to call my uh, cat back to me and I drop uh, the telepathy and I just start tugging uh, you back to uh, the nestled nook. Come on, we have to talk about this. We have to decide what we're going to do. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, they're we're not, not here. with us. Not oh, us. I thought you were right behind us. My cat was in there with me. Uh, yeah, well, you had to stay within 100 feet mm -hmm. to maintain that. Well, we would have walked up to the building. That's a good My right. cat would have scurried around, if yeah. possible. So. So I'd like to think that I heard all that, which is why I just said You did all hear all that, did. yeah. Okay, and I'd say as they're making their way out, yeah, you could probably duck around without them seeing you as they. Fast walk back. To yeah, you could do that. Okay. So, you guys are. Jettison into the street. It's now probably just past midnight. Molly Mark, I don't mean to pry into your business, but has this ever happened to you before? This, this has never, anything like this has ever happened before. And, and thank you. For the record, I don't owe you, uh, any of you anything. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I swear, but thank you. <laughs> and uh, I'm ready to help with this. Do you think it was the little girl? No, no, that's, that's, that's an act. That's not. That's not anything. It's just a show. Right. The large. The large toad that was with the girl. 
What's the story there? It's nothing special. It's just, it's just a guy making a buck. All right. He's 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 fine. He's fine. Point, you hear the footfalls of guards approach and a rattle of chains as you see. By the way, Beauregard. where's the obnoxious one? The, the, <laughs> the, the really loud. That I suppose the rest of you who are like of gingerly of brought up. You see, you see Beauregard being pulled forward, but now the chains around her are being pulled taut on two sides. She's being brought forward like a wild animal almost, <laughs> and she's just being led towards the stockade. Help. What happened? Help! 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 I'm with you. I'm with you now. Help! Help! Oh, I thought you didn't like jails. <coughs> help! This is part of the show, by the way. I was just curious. Unfortunately, no. Which <laughs> is the last thing you see as she's yanked into the stockade and out of sight. I wouldn't be very helpful to not go in there with the two of you while you try and get her out. Do should we go in and try to get well, her out? Well, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I'll stand guard. Okay, Don't we'll follow her in. Leave. I have nowhere to go. <laughs> All right. You guys walk in behind her. You watch her being pulled uh, to the stairs. She's not. She's being. She's bypassing the office of the lawmaster right now, and is being brought, is seemingly to incarceration before being questioned. Um, they bring her to the stairs in what looks to be a torch-lit subterranean basement area. Um, and as you begin to approach and follow behind. Uh, you can see one of the guards who's currently on watch, who sees you guys just exit and then walk back in and follow another prisoner, kind of stands up and goes, I'm sorry, uh, where are you going? It was a busy day for us. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're partially responsible for this one as well. Bad luck. He was also helping to save a lot of people. Big misunderstanding. <laughs> <clears throat> well, see her in her cell and please exit the vicinity. Fair enough. Appreciate that. Yes, and he kind yes. of like follows behind you guys. You know, they're they're kind of on high alert and they're a bit scattered. You get the sense right now that they have a lot of their initial uh, stock of guards are kind of off site right now, and so they're doing the best they can to hold on to what they currently have in the stockade. To the side, I say, do Jester, I say, this does not really fall in with keeping a low profile. We talked about this. I know, this. isn't it so weird? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is. It is. Uh, you guys follow uh, down to the uh, basement portion of this, um, which there's a heavy locked door immediately uh, that is opened from the opposite side. You hear a couple of uh, keys turn and the shifting of wood against metal <laughs> before the door <laughs> opens and reveals the rest of what appears to be a long hallway that is flanked by two rows of cells. Iron bars, about maybe two inches apart, uh, rowing, going across the entirety of this long hallway. Um, you can't quite see the end of it until you step down to where the door frame is, and there's probably a total of ten cells to each side. Um, as you kind of walk through, um, you can see in kind of the off shadows in the corners a few kind of huddled bodies, hunched or asleep, uh, kind of keeping to the shadows and out of the light. Uh, the smell of kind of mildewed, wet. Uh, Compost and piss hits your nose oh, like a wall. It smells like Caleb down here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get about five cells in, where you can see the people that were previously in there, had, or the the guard that were previously in there, just finished closing off the cell that contains uh, both Gustav and uh, Bo the Breaker, and they move to the cell just beyond that, uh, open that cell, and then go ahead and put. Uh, Beauregard into that one. Are they not going to take her to see the lawmaker? I know, why, why, why doesn't she get to talk to the lawmaster? As he closes it and locks it? to talk to the lawmaster. Because she decided not to come, helpfully. What do you mean? Uh, oh, no, you misunderstood. See, that was just, I have this like spasm that kind of has this like, kind of twitch, you know? It's just, it's it was an injury from a, like a childhood thing. <laughs> are, um, are you, Oh no, are you guys making fun of her because of her spasm? Yeah, that it's actually, it's, it was very sensitive for me. I had a really tough, the th tough childhood. The and I was just trying to find a bathroom. <laughs> the three guard walk away, not caring. Um, who were there previously, and uh, at, the, at, <laughs> at this point, uh, a man who was in the far end of the hall walks up, and you can see him, he's a, uh, a man with like a, a, a Kind of a heavy, bushy beard that obscures a lot of what looks to be a dark leather mantle um, over general cloth tunic, but he's like he burly arms, heavy torso, super scrawny legs, 
um, <laughs> kind of a widow's peak, and he looks to be the jailer. And he kind of walks up and puts his hand on the bars and goes, oh, well, if you want to be patient, I'm sure the lawmaster will be here sometime in the morning, and you can discuss whatever this business is. But if you want to say goodbye, now's the time. Actually, we were just upstairs, and it would really help us if we could perhaps expedite the process. Um, perhaps there's an arrangement we could come to if she could see the lawmaster now. Yeah, I'm like a kind of injured man. Like, no, like, seriously, I had to show my eight hit points of damage. <laughs> How many kittens is uh, that again? <laughs> That's like four. Eight. Sixteen, 16 four kittens. Four kittens. Yeah. yeah. These are half the hit point. Half the kittens have more than that. That's eight front kittens. Wow. An audience is <laughs> an audience is all we're asking for. No favors. Yeah, this is just a mis like a wrong time, wrong place thing. Make persuasion check. Is this mall? Use it. God bless. Sixteen. Sixteen. It kind of gives you a look. This. All right, but if she gets angry, it's not on me. I understand. Thank She's you for a very your calm person. She she very rarely. I've never seen her angry ever. <laughs> and then gives a whistle. I'm so glad I'm not there right now. Another crown scar comes up and approaches him. And he goes like, "I'm sorry. Could you go and fetch the lawmaster? They are requesting an audience." If she gets angry. Just add it to this one sentence. And the guard exits, and a brief time by, you can hear the slight muddled cursing of a. Dwarven female descending the stairs. You can see she has like an overcoat on, was like halfway out of the stockades, finishing up her evening in her office. Bo, remember your little sister. <clears throat> oh, what? Little sister? What? We're not there. So, as the lawmaster approaches now, kind of pulling the coat over herself, because, okay, so you've returned, apparently, needing to poke into what business now before I go off and get some food? I do hate to trouble you again twice in the same evening. It's I hate being troubled twice in the same evening. If, if we may, this sweet girl here was also part of our party, and she is quite the protective one. Um, I'm afraid that she was also providing aid to our fellows in that tent. Uh, I'm afraid her younger sister was attacked in a similar way. And I, I feel it's only prudent to acknowledge that she was trying to protect this young dwarven girl that performed in the circus. She means no harm. It was an adopted sister. <laughs> I practically raised her. It's a sensitive subject. Okay. I would like a deception check. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. 24. Whoa! 18. Cowboy. Yeah. Modified by other answers. Um. <laughs> I was helping. I knew with this. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> no. um, she gives kind of a narrow look, a narrow look through her eyes, looks to one of the other guards that you see standing in the back, familiar one to you, Bo, and goes, Is this true? She goes, uh, <clears throat> uh, it, it appeared to us that she was attempting to escape upon uh, us uh, trying to bring calm to a very tense situation, um, but I, I leave it in your uh, your realm, Lawmaster. She looks back. So your sister, apparently, is part of this now as well? Ad adopted sister. <clears throat> okay. Well, your sister's under investigation. Sure. She's staying at the same place that we are. Indeed, mm -hmm. and we can be found at any hour. The nestled nook in is where we are. And I, I'm more than willing to be compliant with the investigation. In fact, you can see the injury the beast left on my ribs. And so if you want to test it, you know, for any type of uh, specimen samples, feel free. It's very painful, but I'm willing to do it for the cause. Do you need me to heal that? Please? No, for the cause. Okay, okay. Do it for the cause. <laughs> Yeah, which <laughs> she looks to you now and goes, "Are you saying you might have been infected by this beast?" <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's a separate issue. There was like, uh, there was two things going on. There was like, the the big angry toad beast, and you got to swipe at me. And then there were people who were getting Seats? attacked. And she looks over to the jailer. Who's hey? She goes. Could you have a look at this wound for me real fast? I want to make sure this isn't something that's going to spread. A yeah. great idea, yeah. indeed. And uh -huh. thankfully, there was no flesh-to-flesh -flesh contact. 
Nope. Yeah. <laughs> the big the the big zombie beast especially was using a lot of like sticks and stuff to attack <coughs> people more than any kind of mouth. <laughs> 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 The jailer, Thedes, um takes a quick look at the wounding. Goes, no, it, it, it appears to mainly be just bludgeoning. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we'll keep a close eye on her. Uh, you can see now the the lawmaster is kind of rubbing her eyes in frustration. Goes, I just want to sleep. Indeed, it would give us no greater pleasure than to get out of your hair. Mm -hmm. Then. We'll have guards posted at the outside of the inn. You're not to leave until this investigation is complete. It may take days, but until we find out who's responsible for these deaths and bring them to justice, you are not to leave the tavern. Understood. Like, at all during the day? Understood. Even? Just a question. If we want to ditch your shop or something, not okay? Not until this is done. Cool. Because otherwise, you're welcome to stay here instead. It is really beautiful here, but I think I'd rather stay at the inn. Indeed we would. This is most gracious of you, Lawmaster Norda. Get them the fuck out. And she turns around and kind of just sighs heavily as she stomps out of the chamber. Um, the jailer kind of opens the cell door and allows Beauregard back out. And he looks a bit confused, but amused at the same time, and you guys, uh, the, the guards that had originally arrested you, escort you out, not leaving any element of their sight off of you. Um, they escort you guys to the actual inn itself, to the, uh, the, the bottom floor of the Nestled Nook Inn, watch you enter, and then post up right outside of the main entrance to the tavern. You should have spasmed a couple times on the way here. Oh shit! Yeah. What happened? Opportunity missed. Yeah, my little sister. What the? What she's the, a what? dwarf. She's not. She's human. What? No, <laughs> I, I was trying to say she had a little sister that had a similar incident, and that made you try to protect her. I, mean, oh, I was trying to throw you, you a bone. You didn't make that clear at all. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys up in your room, or are you yeah, in the? Yeah. Top <laughs> under watch. I was just trying to go with what you said. Yeah. 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 You, no. did, you did all right. All right. I mean, it kind of worked. It's. I would. But you're not entirely wrong. I was trying to go get the stupid little girls who seemed to be stupid. Did you see anything? I tried to save her. I was like, do you get the hint? What's going on? Why would you save her? She turned those people into zombies. I. I. We don't know that. I mean, she could have. She look. I look. I got a soft. Oh hi. Here. Yeah, if anything, we should be looking at this guy. Like, I don't, why are we, why, why are we putting our neck out from you? Like, what? You're putting your neck out for Tanya for some strange reason, and I don't know why she's perfectly capable of handling herself. Have you been to this town before? Oh, not that I can remember. I don't know, they all look the same after a while. Yeah, they've come through once, but that was uh, a while back, and you weren't yeah, really was, paying yeah, attention. Busy, yeah. And you've never seen conditions like this affect Nothing any like this. other carnival goer. Hundreds, possibly thousands of shows. No, yeah, thousands of shows. Nothing, never. It's not us. So great, we're what? stuck in a city that has zombie issues. That's Where all. Where are the other two? They, which other two? The, Girl, the stinky guy. one and the little one. Oh, your uh, friends. Yeah. <laughs> Can we look around and see if we spot Caleb and... You call them Stinky and, and the little one. Yeah. Right? All, right, all right. You spot around the interior of the tavern. They don't appear to be nearby. I wonder if they came back. I'll go up and ask the uh, the tavern keeper. Okay. Yorda? Yeah, Yorda. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, hi. Everything all right? You had a few uh, bruiser types leading you in here, some of the crowns oh gosh, huh? there was this big trouble at the carnival. Did you go? Oh, I heard about that. I didn't go in there. But Somebody people turned here saying, into a zombie I and then got, yeah, incredible. yeah, yeah. And then we were all under investigation because we saved them. These, these guards are weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you see the wizard guy, the stinky guy, and the little, the little, the uh, halfling? Yeah, they came in not, not a few minutes before you did. They went upstairs. Oh, great. They are? Yeah. Good. <sighs> Meanwhile, the two of you are upstairs in your own chambers. During all of that, we were, I would have dragged you back here. 
brought you upstairs. So, and I whip off my ratty coat, throw it on the bed, and sit down on the ground so that I'm eye level with you. Uh, not. Hi. Not we. <laughs> you and I have to make some decisions right now. Okay? Now? <coughs> yes. Why? Well, I know why we said we were coming here. Get some booze, get some books, find a little little taste of civilization, maybe some better food. Yeah. I, I didn't say, I also had the idea, you know, you and I meeting and, and, and teaming up has been a good thing. Oh yes, very good. I know everyone else makes fun of your smell, but I don't smell nothing. <laughs> That's what I like about you. <laughs> I have been thinking, and yesterday just furthers that thinking that I don't think you and I are enough, and I, I had the idea that we would come here maybe and find others that we could tag along with or meet up the way you and I did. But now I think that is a terrible idea. The people we spent the day with are lunatics. I don't think that we can do this. I've changed my mind entirely. <laughs> And I think we should go, but we we can't now because we are stuck here for the moment. Under sort of holding arrest or something? We can't we can't leave the city. No. But I was thinking about this. The people we met down down there and spent the day with, they are lunatics. But they draw a lot of attention to themselves, leaving us free to sort of slink back into the shadows a little bit. It might be sort of the perfect camouflage. No one's gonna be looking for a little little goblin girl anymore because they'll be looking at the crazy people, the tieflings running around smashing shit. <laughs> you know, I had not thought of it quite in that way, and that is a good point, but I'm, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced, and, and perhaps we're better off. Maybe I was too ambitious. Well, let's give it a day and maybe we can, if things seem a little bit, <clears throat> you know, skinky duty tomorrow, we can, <laughs> we, can uh, we can fritter away in the middle of the day or something. All right, well, we'll wait and see. <laughs> While we're here, one thing, okay? No money pot, no rat food. How are None of those places. I have silver, we don't need it right but now. But we need to replenish the healing potion you used. If we don't have that, then what happens the next time you get, you know, in trouble? The entire town, we're sealed here and they're watching. We're with a couple of tieflings, a little person in a doll mask and a dirty ginger. We've got people staring at us every second of the day. We need to... We need to dial it back a little bit. All oh, right, but how on earth are we? Is that ginger? Maybe, maybe we. Yeah, we're all, ready, so. all right, we can cool it with the cons for a couple of days. <laughs> but I can't promise that I won't get the itch again. You just talk to me. You hold Frumpkin. Just keep your hands full with the Frumpkin, okay? Hold all my right. cat, okay? All right. And then. This is going to blow over because we didn't do anything. We did something. No, good. I didn't do nothing. We just went to a show. That's right. It's a pretty good show. <laughs> Up until, you know, the the dead dead people part. Nah, but it was a good show, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, we'll lay low. Should we pretend that we're still friends with these people? I was going to suggest the same thing. In fact, I think we should go downstairs. They're going to be coming back. We don't want to cause a stir with them either. Sure. We just want to leave, if that's what we're going to Don't do. Don't worry. I'll turn on the charm. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's uh, get uh, a drink. Thank God. Head downstairs. You guys head down. You get to the bottom of the stairs just in time to see uh, Jester, Beauregard, Molly, and Ford looking across the tavern, making their way in your direction, and you guys notice them meeting you in the tavern room as well. Oh, thank God we're all here. I'm oh, thank God you're here and and safe. All of you are here. We missed you. Where Somehow you we go? got separated. Oh. Friends. That happens, yes. Yes. Can I inside check him? 
Sure. <laughs> Sam, natural oh. 20. I'm lying! <laughs> <laughs> Peace out pretty quickly. Uh, we, we did. I did not come to Trustwall to go to jail. Mm -hmm. What did you come to Trustwall for? Well, uh, we're tired. We've been traveling a long time. We wanted to, we've been saving. We wanted to take it easy for a few days. Sure, yeah, I'm not trying to pry. I was just curious where you were going. Yeah, I'm just curious why you have a mask. Oh, God, if I'm going to be listening to somebody's life story, I'm going to need a drink. Uh, you, gorgeous, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> you look over and see uh, um, kind of a woman with uh, darker hair who's the other general barmaid. Um, um, Adeline? Adeline. I would like a round for all of these terrible people and one for myself. And what's the difference between these three beers? I really, I honestly, I've got to admit, I can't actually, I don't, I, I, I don't know what, they all taste the same to me. Go with the Von Brandt. It's got a round of Von Brandt for everybody. Actually, if it's all the same, I'm not really an ale fan. Do you have any fire whiskey? <laughs> we can get you some liquor, eh? Yeah. Could two, I have some milk? Two, please. <gasps> all right. <laughs> she walks away and gets I think her. she heard that I wanted milk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to ask for one of each of these beers because I want to have a tasting competition, and I'm not going to be drinking alone, so. I wander away from these two with their questions, and I sit down with Molly. <gasps> Caleb, you want to see something cool? Yes, I would love to see something cool. I show Caleb <laughs> where I, I etched the dick in the table a couple nights ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing it back. That's pretty good. Did you etch a right? deck in the table? It's a dick. Oh. <laughs> have, you, um, a have you always been an artist? I have, actually. I've been an artist since I was little. You think that's what they look like? I can <laughs> tell. That is what I've seen a like. lot of this, okay? <laughs> that is what most of I'm them look like. already in my cups. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. <laughs> so, uh, where do you two come from? Us, us two? Thanks. Yes, you two with the horns. Where oh, well, I don't know where he don't comes where he from. Do you think we all either. come from the same place? That's not what that I said. Feel free to well, answer anything separately. Alike, really, that is think really about inconsiderate. No, you are very different. That's very clear. He's purple. He's like blue. Yeah. yeah. He's, Which is pretty rare. He's okay? kind of every color. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> I'm, I'm from. Uh, uh, I'm from. Uh, so casual. Nico Nico <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember when we started the first campaign and all those places just, just came at the in a split second and we had all that history. I'll, I'll show you how he's I'm just from um, I'm from Srevnan, Chicago. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I'm from the circus. <laughs> so you're a traveler then? Oh yeah. Quite a while. Since uh a child? Oh, oh, as long as I can reasonably remember, at the very least. Oh. It's been a while. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's nice. I like it. The good people work hard. You have a lot of scars. Yeah, that's a very funny story, actually. I like funny stories. Mm. Me too. <laughs> you did some uh, crazy shit with that sword of yours. Oh, thank you. I've actually, these swords, uh, well, you buy a drink and we'll see. Well, you polish off that one already? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, wow, yeah. that's a lot easier, okay. Yes. <laughs> we'll get another round for the... Let me know what I owe you for the, for the first round, by the way. <laughs> well, they keep an Italian at the table. Frumpkin scrapples up onto Nott's shoulder. <laughs> hi, hi, Frumpy. Nice to see you again. My mother always told me never give away a story for free. Wise words. Yeah. My we mother said don't give away other things for free. I already like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> My mother always said nothing in life is free. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, 
none of this absolves the dodgy goblin who kind of slinked past that first question. Where, uh, where are you from? What are you traveling from? Why the mask? Only because we seem to find ourselves in quite the predicament. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, we're just a couple of friends strolling around the countryside looking for adventure. Sure. Sure you are. Do you see many goblins walking around cities here? Oh, it has nothing to do with that. I just... Uh, people moving from place to place very frequently tend to have other stories as to why they're doing it, mm, well, so I'm just curious. Let me make it clear, goblins are not typically welcome in any cities. That is why the mask. Well, you're going back to the, the goblin thing. I'm more curious about the travel thing. We have a string of bad luck. We, we um, mm. tend to uh, get in trouble in places for various reasons, some of which is my fault. Most of which is my fault. I have sticky fingers. I can't help myself sometimes. I just, I'm fascinated by little baubles and fancy pieces of jewelry, and I love trinkets so much. <laughs> and uh, I just have to just take them and have them with me and take them and put them in my pockets. And it's got us in, in a few scrapes a couple times. And Caleb, he's fantastic, very patient with me, understands. Um, but uh, really, it's, it's my fault. It's not him. You know, he, he, he's a smart, smart man and a, a brilliant magician. Have you seen some of his, his tricks are phenomenal, oh, really? I'd love to. I feel bad, too, because we never stay in one place long enough for him to have a decent shower. <laughs> <laughs> that is a moving story. I uh, immediately check my pockets after <laughs> after that and see if uh, Not fingers. has lifted anything. Mm. Is everything still there? All my coin? Make an investigation check. Okay. I'm going to join you on this one. Uh, it's near It's near greedy do. Uh, Six. Sixteen. Sixteen. Everything seems to be in order for All you. Right. Um, no! Wait! That was a fifteen! Right? That was the dice I rolled. <laughs> so, sixteen. Okay. <laughs> Everything seems to be in order. Mm. Okay. Okay. Anyway, that's the long and short of it. What do you do with the things once you steal them? Well, the nice ones I keep. I, I have a little. <gasps> you have a collection. I collect a lot of things, <laughs> but in the last place we hunkered down, it was all taken from me. Um, we were. We were in one of those prisons before. Am I sharing too much? I'm sharing too much, no. aren't I? We were in a prison, they took all of our belongings, and I left, I lost all of my collections. I had a lovely rock collection. Mm. I had a, a, a rare coin collection. Ooh. I had a stick collection. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's all gone now. <laughs> what about shiny things, though? I like love them. I just things. don't have any right now. Because I think if you have sticky fingers for sticks and rocks, I don't think that will get you in trouble. True. True. But they were like people's canes and things. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I call them sticks because I don't need them, but I suppose they, they need They really needed them. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. We only got a way to find wow. out in there. <laughs> so we. I'm sorry. I just. Yeah. I think I need clarification. Me too. If, um,. Sticks mean things like valuable canes. What do rocks mean to you? You know, those rocks that humans wear on their fingers <laughs> <laughs> and yes. around their necks yeah. and stuff. Right. They're really nice rocks. Right. Yep. We don't have many of those at the moment. It must be hard to get them off. Would it be fair to say the more that someone <laughs> desires something, well, the you. more your interest increases? Oh, I don't care about the people who have them. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh. like pretty things. Anything, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Toys. Anything, really. Toys. I'll keep an eye out for things that you would it, like. Okay. Yeah. Can you ha help with that? I mean, I can if you want me to, or I can point it out. That would be right. Well, really well hang on, wait, is the, the joy in taking the things, or do you just oh, like no. gifts? No, it's the collecting. <laughs> oh, so. Yes. It's kind I. of like a, it's, it's, it's like a nervous tick a little bit. 
And uh, are you like good at spasm. it? Like a spasm. Do you get caught yeah. very often? Just well, that, that would spasm. you like a no. demonstration? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, what, now, just if I may, we are already in a little bit of a pickle. Steal something from me. Do you want me to close my eyes? Sure, that'd okay. make it really easy. <laughs> uh, are, are they closed? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> that's a practice here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a shot. All right. <laughs> Crack my knuckles. <laughs> Waste, cause uh, he'll be pissed. That's the one thing you said. He, he he'll be pissed. What? Yeah. He? Yeah. What's on your waist? I'm looking at her waist. What's on her <laughs> What's waist? What's on her waist? What's on your waist? My symbol to the traveler. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'll go to her left butt cheek pocket and fish around. I'm in a dress. I don't have a pocket on my butt cheek. <laughs> But you can try. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what, what pockets right. do you have? Um, I would have, I guess, pockets in the front on my dress, and maybe like a little pouch on my hip. Mm, I'll do the hip pocket. All right, go ahead and make a, a sleight of hand check. Three. <laughs> you close your eyes and feel a, a tug and a shake. Oh. And a sh plus, plus eight. Oh. <laughs> What's your passive perception? <laughs> I'm gonna guess 10. No, it's uh, 13. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, you totally feel. <laughs> You're doing great! <laughs> <laughs> well, this is not how it usually the, works. I mean, the person isn't really point. expecting it. This is everything happens. I was hoping it was gonna be. Oh, this is, I feel, this is embarrassing, really. <laughs> I have everything. the one skill and I failed at it. <laughs> well, there it's is... okay, you can keep practicing, okay? Do you Thank know that you. there is that one magic trick that you're able to do? Would you like to show them the magic trick you do? I pull out a small red uh, clay, uh, like a ceramic bowl, and then I pull out uh, a uh, copper piece. Yeah, you know the trick. Oh, right? Yes, I, I know the trick. Takes a little bit of time, doesn't it? You're good. Okay. <clears throat> I do know one piece of magic. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Take one step back. <laughs> <laughs> On the sacred money pot yeah. of school. Ooh, if you place a copper piece into this pot and say the magic words, what are the magic words again? Uh, fibulous. Fibulous. It will turn into a silver piece. Do, should I say it? I want to hear you say it anyway. Only I can say it. <laughs> <laughs> For everyone has their own magic word, and it won't work with you. <clears throat> By the ancient order of the school. Fibulous! It's that as a silver coin right there. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Does this mean the silver I won from you was actually copper? No, it only works up. Great. <laughs> Thanks for the silver. Well, no, I, we weren't giving you the silver piece, just showing you a, a, a bit of magic. And this pot is actually quite powerful. It can do that once a day. So if you'd like to purchase it, can you turn this into a gold piece? Ah, it only works once a day. Uh, well, tomorrow, can you make it gold? I think it only does the copper to silver. <laughs> 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 the magic is not that, we've talked about this, it's yes. not that strong. It's a, it's yeah. a mild magic oh. pot. Yeah. But if you'd like to purchase it for us, we can uh, sell How it to much? you for fi five gold. Five gold. Five gold for one silver a day? That doesn't add up. Well, by the end of the week, you made your money back. No, well. No. Well, no. Oh, by no. the end of <laughs> well, a discount for friends, three gold. Three gold. And for that, we'll teach you your own magic word. It's pretty good. 40 days. 
Mm. 40 days. You, you do it once a day forever. You have it for the rest of your life. Yeah, but I have lots of money. I don't need it. But this is free money that you don't have to work for. Also, I don't know. You know. They basically helped us out today. You could do it for one, for them. All right, one gold. One gold. That's a really good deal. Did you hear how much he gave me a deal? Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you give him a gold? Yes, I'll All give right, him take a gold, gold piece. Hold on, let me make sure I have it. Where's my? Uh, you go. It's the second button. Oh, on currency. The yeah. Gold. Okay. It's there. One Did down. Thank you. you. There you go. Hands. What's my magic word? Perception check. Object. Yeah, no. Well, I'm gonna let this one go. It can be whatever you want it to be. You have to agree upon it, and you have to focus on that word it's gonna uh -huh. be for one full day while you're in possession of the pot. Okay. Yes. So what you watch you that like copper be? piece become silver. How about stinky do stinky Magic. duty? Stinky duty is uh, that is unique. Yeah. I'm sure no one else has possession of that arcane power word, so I, I could consider it yours if you focus on it all day tomorrow. Okay. I but you agree. really have to focus. Okay. Okay. I will. I will. Super a lot of focus. <laughs> Skinky duty. <laughs> Thank you for this. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Does that answer your questions? I've got some for you. That's very kind of you. That, yeah, yeah uh, well, you have questions Support for me? Support the arts, yes. as it were. Okay. <laughs> how does a, uh, how does someone like you, a hu human, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you come by <laughs> learning halfling? Uh, my parents <clears throat> were in a, the winery business, and the wine making business, and uh, halflings really like wine. Well, every, everyone so, likes wine. That's true, that's true. <laughs> some people more than others. <laughs> some people more than others. Some, some the halflings just deal in wine a lot, and a lot did in the town that I'm from, and and my parents wanted me to like keep up with the books and all that stuff, so it kind of forced me to learn halfling. I was around a lot. What town was that then? It's close by here, right? Mm, it's a few. It's a, it's a bit of ways. It's a uh, Camorda. Huh. I haven't heard of it. Yeah, yeah. It's a small. It's a small farming town. It's no big deal. It's it's whatever. <laughs> Nothing shady there. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, just really a wandering like traveler, just like the rest of y'all. Well, I mean, I was really impressed with the little trick. I sure would like to see a, a big trick. <gasps> I used thaumaturgy to open all the windows. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Being about one o'clock in the morning at this time, and the energy of the tavern has kind of come to a quiet crawl. Those who are deep in their cups are either snoring or in the process of preparing to go to sleep. You watch as the uh, as Adeline, the uh, the barmaid, is walking around cleaning up tables, and suddenly all the windows in the room <laughs> slam open with a heavy impact, and there's a burst of wind that comes through. And you watch as the two crowns guard that were outside, flanking the opening doorway, suddenly rush and look in, and look about at a lot of you. Sorry, drinking, drinking. I have that two extra. Weird. I did order two extra. Two extra. And they both just slowly curl back to their perimeter. You're no fun. <laughs> yeah, circus. <laughs> Woo! Mm. Circus. Come to the top. Gesture I'm in a trick from. Caleb. Oh. You, you want to see a trick? I, I would love one. I'm well into my second trust at mm. this point. I can show you a trick. Uh, young lady, if you would uh, assist me, please step up onto the table. Yes. Absolutely. So not break anything. <clears throat> Just your minds. And I begin to weave my hands in a, a slow one hand, a slow circle around the other, and a globe of golden light poofs out and floats out. <gasps> I put my hands and feet out, sort of in a. Uh, 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 just a akimbo sort of pose. <laughs> and a second little globule of light. I feel it coming! Oh. Hit me! <laughs> then two more at the same time boom, boom, come out of my hand. And then they amass upon my uh, little companion and form 
a similar sized little humanoid of light that then coincides with my little friend, and she is glowing golden on a table in the middle of the nestled nook. Oh! <laughs> the goblite, ladies and gentlemen, the goblite. Thank you, thank you. That's incredible. The class in the back rooms, you see him. Yeah. One of the drunken gentlemen has come to semi consciousness and goes, That is impressive. <laughs> and then passes back out on the table. How did you learn to do that? Uh, well, uh, that is, uh, that was, uh, I mean, I, I could always do that a little bit as a kid. You know, I was always good uh, with magic. I had, a, I had a knack for it. That one's easy, that one's easy. It's impressive. Oh, thank you. <sighs> oh, buddy. Maybe he can teach oh, you how buddy. to do that. Is it something that can be taught to others? Are you trying to learn like, magic? Is that a thing? Well, I'm just a little curious about oh. how people use their magic. I've seen you have a few tricks up your sleeve. You seem like you're not totally magic inept. <clears throat> no. It's relatively new for me, though, so I'm just uh, trying to learn. Are you reading a lot? No. I wonder if maybe I should be. Well, it could be helpful. Um, although, I mean, I'm a bit of an amateur teacher. I've been, I taught not the uh, the one trick you saw, but uh, other things we've been working together. I suppose I could try to help you. Have you had these magic abilities your whole life like a kid? No, no, no. Again, fairly recently. Something happened? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, do you two not know each other super well? You seem like you do. Oh, we got a good, you know, 24, 48 hours on the rest of you. Yeah, we're not yeah. super deep. Uh-huh. Oh, no. <laughs> nope. Oh, where, where did you come from then? Well, I came up from the town of Port de Mali. That's where we met. Yeah, I met Jester a while back. And after I left town, coming up to the northeast, I ran across her. I'd seen her do some of her magic before, and if that's what I'm trying to learn about. If you more, you know, displays, you just let me know, because... Well, I, we've seen Actually, that thing a couple times, that's good. Yeah. Can I request a display on, I think I have a broken rib. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Oh. So, it might be getting more purple. I mean, I can ask, but... I think I'm kind of tapped. No. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'll fine, sleep it off. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I can try. I'll sleep I'll it off. I'll put my hand out. Oh god. Uh, and I'll try to cast uh, uh, cure wounds. Uh, I can yeah, sleep it off. I got shit. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. Well, it's past midnight. Nope. Oh, no, I got to sleep. No, you, you concentrate pass out. for a moment. Uh, make a medicine check. Okay. <laughs> oh. Natural 12. Uh, plus five, that's 17. 17. Uh, you focus on the bruised area, kind of exposed uh, out of her, uh, her uh, monk robes, and uh, you watch as the slight bruising suddenly turns like a sickly green. That good? <laughs> In a very unhealthy way. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, that doesn't look huh. You know what? <laughs> I think this might, um, this might be worse than just like a bruised rib. Can I poke at it? Oh. Is it like, um, does it seem like oh. infected? Does it hurt? You I'm not going to poke at it with my finger, though. I'm going to poke at it with like a, do a I fork. Get, don't do don't poke at me with a fork. Yes, do I poke at with a fork? Do I poke at it at all, either? Uh, well, right now she's inspecting it. Right now, there's four. Um, you, take a, you take a fork off the table and no, poke? No, don't, no. I'll use the no. blunt then. Don't be such a baby. <laughs> She pushes in and it kind of bruise hurts a bit. You watch as this kind of sickly pus like liquid begins to pour out, like it, with with a thick viscosity and and a lot of it. Oh. And you like you, you all of a sudden feel like you you punctured a balloon that's beginning to erupt, and you feel 
awful, and then you blink a few times, and it's just a bruise. Oh, what? You hear this distant? Oh, motherfucker! He's such a dick. What? Who? What? What? What's going on? Uh, my bruise is in the shape of a dick. <laughs> what? That would be really cool. That would be fun. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure I'm going to push on it a bit more. Ah, I think it's okay. You're fine. All right. Sleep it off. <clears throat> Molly Mock. I think I need some sleep, you guys. Mm. Uh, it's Gustav, the person who runs your circus. Is he uh, your friends? Is he? Are he's you family. Close? He's family. We take care of each other. He's, he's a good man. So what's your play tomorrow? <sighs> well, they have all my things. They have all my family. I'm going to figure out what is going on. Try and find out what's actually doing this. I assume since it's not us, it's going to happen again. But it's how inevitable. can, because we can't leave this tavern. Well, I. Were Caleb and I not instructed to not leave the tavern? We not we received no, you no weren't, you formal weren't instruction. Of that formal instruction, no. The rest of you were told not to leave the tavern until further notice. I'm sure if we sleep on it, we'll think of something. Leave in the morning, the same way we got in. That's true. Yeah. Okay. How did you get in? With magic. Oh. I would show you now, but I'm out of spells. Yeah, the fork <laughs> trick wasn't very, <laughs> very yeah. fun, was it? No, I was making sure she wasn't a zombie. I thought she might be. Hmm. Well, that's fair. Yeah. She did get, uh, you know. She got clawed, right? A bit, yeah. All right. Hey, bitches, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Where exactly am I going to be sleeping, by the way? I mean, I, I, I can sleep down here, but uh, it might be nice. Molly, if you would like to share my room, you can. Excellent. Oh, you don't mind? And I'm going to pull the swords off finally and just sort of start, you know, getting comfortable out of the mm -hmm. performance clothes. I'm in Jester's room, still, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sleeping on the floor in my bedroom. As she starts to go to sleep, I want to draw in my sketchbook and tell the traveler all about the cool things that I saw for the day. And I'm going to draw like the red-faced guard as I pretend that I was a zombie. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to draw Molly's horns all full of jewels and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to draw this stack of books. The monster attack? And I'm going to draw, oh, and I'm going to draw like a zombie, but like as an old man, and then like as he's biting, his dentures fall out, and he's got no teeth. <laughs> All right, fairly decent sketches, actually. Yeah. All right, and you eventually find yourself to sleep. The rest of you go to your respective rooms and find yourselves falling into a night's rest. As the evening comes to a close and the morning brings you to consciousness, you are rested, so you're healed up, your spells are restored. Oh, yes. I can use the long rest feature of D&D &D Beyond. Oh, that's that's pretty pretty cool. Cool. You hit a button. Ah, so there's a button. And all my spells are back. There's a button for it. Whoa, nothing changed. <laughs> <laughs> I have no spells. <laughs> all right. So ah, I lost 10 hit points? What the fuck? I've done something terrible. Right? <laughs> 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 you see the beyond glasses and they're going, fuck you, not. <laughs> Wait, no, you're putting temporary hit points no, on. No, no. What are you doing? <laughs> we'll work on this during the break. <laughs> Self destruct in 10, <laughs> 9, <laughs> 2. <laughs> Just throw us the iPad. All right, so come into consciousness in your respective rooms. Cold morning air, it's a bit frosty. Uh, the windows to each of your rooms have a bit of that kind of. Curled bit of frost on the outskirts of the glass. Um, it's probably eight or nine in the morning at this point in time, and the day is yours. What do you wish to do? As I wake up, I sit mm. up and I go, Jester, mm. were you like laughing to yourself last night? I just got up here and giggling. I was like kind of obnoxious. <laughs> Sorry. Uh huh. <laughs> just get ready. All right. <laughs> As a note, too, for all the drinks you guys drank last night, I'd probably put you back about one and a half gold. Molly, that's uh, your tab, right? All but the one you bought me? <laughs> that, yeah, except for that one. Ah, oh, to be fair, I didn't give you that story. 
<laughs> it's true. I very carefully uh, start unfolding my robe, and it has my swords very carefully laid out in there from mm -hmm. the closet. I do a little prayer, put everything back on. Are okay. you praying over your swords? Yeah, of course. Is that part of your thing? You seem honest. Try to be. Well, swords are magic. They are, according to my mom, uh, go back in our family generations uh, to a, a very unusual, rare line of tiefling that came from a demon of ice that lived inside a volcano. And our family, and I take this with a grain of salt, were royal guards, were entrusted with these magic swords. And these swords can only be activated by the blood of the royal family, and so, in honor of any fighting I ever do with them, I make sure that my blood is at least drawn once. That's quite the story. Can I insight check her? Yes, you may. Sure. <laughs> 15. What do I am fighting against? Let's be deception. Uh, be deception? Uh... Don't fuck me, Gil. I'm lying like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for sharing that honest story with me. It means a lot. <laughs> I walk downstairs. All right. Can I go knock on Ford's door? Sure. Hey, yo, hey, good morning. <laughs> She's a morning person, too. <laughs> oh, hey, yo, hey, yourself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you want to get out of here? Yeah, we said we were going to do that, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you have mind? Well, we sneak out, and then we go find out why they're zombies. It's a detailed plan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like it. We taking anybody with us? Well, if they can make themselves not look like themselves, then sure. Fair enough. Do you want to ask any of them? Uh, hey, Bo! Yeah. Do you have any kind of thing you can do to make yourself not look like you? Um, I take my robes, I kind of flip them inside out, and I take some dirt, dirty it up a little bit, and take my hair down, and uh, uh, steal a scarf off of uh, off of Jester stuff, and I kind of do like a bandana around my head. Mm, no, you look like you with like a bandana around your head. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna not cut gonna fly, it. I think. Not well, quite what we had in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you guys doing? You guys leaving? Are you guys, you guys fucking leaving? You're, you're not leaving without me, aren't you? Oh, of course, we're coming back. You skipping town? No. Ah, oh, shh. Although we could. She's right here. Okay. <laughs> I can skip town with you, though. You wanna skip town? We'll be back. Uh. <laughs> uh Let's see if um, Caleb and his little friend are downstairs first. Okay, 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 okay. He has tricks after all. Right. Okay, the two of you come to consciousness. What are you up to? Get some breakfast, I guess. Sure. Yeah, we're right. already down we, there. We've we'll already gone down there. We've already gone. I'm having uh, breakfast. I'm leaving a, a note uh, with the barkeep for Yasha if she comes back. Okay. So, I guess I go down and have breakfast as well. Yeah. As you guys wander down, you find uh, Caleb and Nott already at a table, Great. and Molly Mock is returning from the bar after delivering Still that note. Mm -hmm. So, wow. Um, you are downstairs. <laughs> 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 I can look at my Can I try to over. take a piece of bacon off your plate? <laughs> I'll show for you. Thanks, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like little dog. Little yeah. back foot moves up. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if we uh, could, where did you just fucking. <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> <laughs> we were thinking of maybe finding our way outside of the inn for a bit. Um, yeah, I don't want to presume anything, but do you have the ability to change the way you look? To change the way I look? Yeah, you know. To leave the inn? Yeah, assume a different form. Why would I do that to leave the inn? Well, so we can find out why they're zombies. Why wouldn't I just walk out of the inn? Oh, 
Well, because we yes, were told oh. we can't leave the inn. We weren't told that. <laughs> right. Huh. Well, that that's convenient but for I you. But I can change my appearance. Wow. <laughs> I would I never totally know it was you. Person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Molly, what about you? Well, I mean, look at me. But I go into my bag, I do have a disguise kit. Don't I? I think I do. It's so weird to just have things now. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I have a disguise kit. Fair enough. What does that mean? <laughs> It's, he, can, he can use it to try to disguise himself. Try hide, disguise. hide features and it'd be a little blended. tricky for me. I look like a, you know, look yeah, like what I'm going to look like. But the rest of you could do a little work. Bo, I don't want to leave you behind, but I. It's true. I have a disguise kit too. I could help you out. Oh, uh, can you? <gasps> Will you do my makeup for me? I'm really good at makeup. Are you? Yeah. Let's do that. I'm really shit at makeup. We <laughs> 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 could just shower this one. That'd be enough. <clears throat> He right. can leave, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah, we could. Uh, but not town. We were told to stay in town. No, no, we're going to stay in town. What do we do? What are we doing again? What, what we have we? to find out why they're zombies so that we don't get arrested for being zombies. Oh, so we solve the case. Obviously. To clear we our so own name. Right. We can go get and a bunch of why, evidence. Why shouldn't we just wait for it all to blow over? We didn't do anything. I tend to find these things don't blow over necessarily as more they just eventually decide someone's guilty and uh, take their revenge on them. Do you find yourself in situations like this often? I, not this particular one, but I yes. I mean, look at them. No offense or anything, none, but... None taken, really. Well, a little taken, but that's he, fine. He makes a point. I think the sooner we find the cause of this, the sooner we can get out of here. No, no. She's right. Immediately, the two of us are going to get hit with this. Mm. If we solve the case, we would be absolved. It's not a terrible plan. And you're so concerned with your goblin friend. I mean, he's kind of in the same boat as the tieflings she, people she's on the like, That's a girl. She's, I know it's hard to tell. I sometimes. said your goblin friend. You said he. You said he. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Listen, we've all had a rough night. <laughs> I know that my features, my features aren't necessarily the most feminine You're among goblin mom. kind. Don't, I, don't I understand. Say weird, darling. Yes, it's hard to tell. I can tell. Thank you. Yeah. Everybody can tell. Yeah. Yes. It just takes getting working on it. <laughs> well, let's uh, <laughs> let's get out of here. Can I walk I back into uh, I guess sort of a. Privy washroom area. Yeah, upstairs at the very end of the hall is the kind of communal washroom. Um, can I use my mask of many faces to Whoa. cast disguise on myself? Sure. What, what form do you want to take? Uh, an older, white-haired, uh, with a, with a beard, just very simple peasant's clothes. Maybe maybe uh, like a, a bit of a farmer or a land worker. Okay, okay. easily yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the barley ba fields. Okay, ba ba basic, basic browns and tans and. General farmworker's tunic and supplies. Smudges, dirt on the fingernails. Yeah, easy enough. Um, I'm going to help <clears throat> Bo. I'm. Oh, you know what I'm going to do for you? Yeah. I'm going to use my disguise kit. I'm going to give you a beard. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. And awesome. I'm going to turn you into like a dude. Okay. Because that's like, yeah, that's yeah. a good disguise, right? Yeah. Yeah, and the mustache. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And um, a hat. Love it. Cool. You really have to sell it, though, and act like a dude. Think I can do that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. I would like you I, to. I uh, go a step uh, further. I tape down my boobs, like bandage them down all the way. Sure. You know, wrap them. Alrighty. Stuff my crotch a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> um, go ahead and make <laughs> a, a dexterity check. <laughs> this will be exciting. Do you want? Do you want a, uh, assistance with this? <laughs> Was he helping me? I could if, if he, he wants to. You, you want yeah, to sure. All right, sure. so take with advantage. Oh, with advantage. Okay. Okay, I'll okay. take the advantage. Mm -hmm. Dexterity. Uh, 15. 
15, okay. You actually managed to sell uh, a decent disguise. Yeah, so five o'clock, like shadow yeah, stubble? Yeah, like, you know, at, yeah. at a distance of about like three or four feet would be passable if and, and walking brush. quickly by, but you know, okay. upon close inspection, Is you could, like you could see through those it. Those old kids' toys, we use the magnet to pull the little filings <laughs> out. Uh, more or less, <laughs> yes. more or less. <laughs> a Mr. Wooly? A, 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 sooty, a, like yeah, a medieval yeah. version of that, yeah. But but impressive, Us, using the kit and using whatever, you know, scraps of clothing you can find in a mask, you managed to, to get a, a relatively kind of, I don't know, like top not Silver Lake hobo version of Bo, uh, <laughs> functionally ready to go. Uh, <laughs> not so Silver good. Lake hobo. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, that's forward. Great. How do you sound? Say words. You're manly. M manly words. Manly words. Mirror that's image. Mirror perfect. image. Yeah, I got nuts. <laughs> I got nuts. <laughs> <laughs> The stage was And I'll cast um, the sky self on myself as well. Okay. Mm. And turn myself into a human. Okay. Um, with with blonde hair, mm. um, and she's going to be very clean looking. Um, Angeline. Yes, <laughs> with big lips. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, and like a couple like jewels on their fingers. Okay, okay. Uh, just double checking here. The sky self lasts for is it an hour? Oh, yeah, I thought it was going to last. So. Yeah. All right, great. Wow. So while they're doing that, are you putting using your disguise kit? In I mean, will it, can I get myself? Uh, if, like, I assume I've just got like some. Very basic black robe that just and then yeah with, the, with just, a cloak and hood and with makeup you could probably pass for human as long as you keep the hood up and you know keep most of your more ostentatious. I'm, I'm sure I've got I'm sure I've got a set, so okay. I'm gonna yeah. Go ahead and make a dexterity check the, with your disguise kit. Yeah, Do you want help? Yes, please. This is a lot of work. Oh, this is oh, it's a natural ah! twenty. That'll do it. All right. Uh, between kind of making your skin tone more of a natural uh, kind of kind of a. a, a Tan, kind of peach humanoid, humanoid color. Um, bring the hood up. You actually pull some of your hair forward and adhere it a bit around the horns, so it looks almost like a bit of a, a cluster of hair in the front. Um, you manage to tuck in and tie your robe behind you, and or your your, general, your usual clothing, and then using an overrobe to hide most of the material. And you kind of just look like a dude passing through. Um, so with that, your disguises are complete. Your spells are cast. Is that your human face? <laughs> Uh, while they're doing all that, I'd want to Thank stroll you. outside and see if there's crown guard outside, or what. I'm just going to get a breath of fresh air and see what's on the street outside of this place. Okay. As you uh, exit, uh, there are two uh, gentlemen in full crown guard gear that are both. Uh, one is standing outside; the other is currently sitting in a chair. And as soon as you watch past, they're both just going to scan you up and down, mm -hmm. continue to watch you pass by. Oh, good. Uh, and there's only just the two. Uh, just the two that the you door? can see at the front. Yes. Okay. And all right. So I just take a minute or two. I go back inside. Okay. Okay. And uh, sort of on not shoulder and say, "We're good. Yeah, I think we're good." Excellent. Should we should we try to do this then? Yeah, twos or same. Yeah, of course. Not all at the same time. That's obvious. Oh, level two, trying to get out of a fucking end. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> I should have. And now I'm kicking myself. What? So anxiety. Does can't any? Does, yeah. No. Never mind. I didn't do it at the time. I can't do it now. No. No retconning. Never mind. Uh, I'm gonna squat down over with you privately. Mm. Uh, I still think that this is a bad idea, but I can tell that you want to. Well, it's just that, listen, there's no offense, but I, I, I enjoy our talks and I, your schooling and everything, but I haven't talked this openly and freely with other people in months. It's, it's kind of amazing. I mean, it is pretty nice, isn't it? Yes. Still. If this goes south, we leave, okay? We're the first ones out the door. Eastway. Yeah. They'll never know who we were. Caleb and not. Well, don't t say that too much. But, well, I mean, yes, they do know that we're Caleb and not, yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we're doing this. Yeah, let's just go with. Yeah. See where it leads. Can I walk up to Nod? No. No. Yes, we weren't talking. Do you like my outfit? Oh! oh what are you? Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm just a, a young girl from the village. No, I'm just a young girl from Jean -Jean town. Before. I don't know anything. <laughs> I should go get my father. No, no you're not It's me. <laughs> 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 Thank you. It's Jester. But you look like. I know, this is how good I am in 
magic. So much Check charisma. Me out. Oh my oh. god. Are we leaving here or not? Well, are you afraid you'll be propositioned on the street? I am really attractive right now. <laughs> Those lips are very big. <laughs> <laughs> I came over here to give you the blessing. What what is that? What does that do? It helps you with your stealth. Oh, the stealthy thing. Yes, thank you so You're much. Welcome. I'll okay, accept that's it. it. Yes. But I'll see you outside at some point, okay? Don't be scared. Come up to me. Okay. Okay. Okay, what order are you leaving? Should I go first? Sure. Oh, well, are we going out in pairs? Like you said. Um, are we going out? Oh, going out in pairs. <laughs> um, has, has Adeline noticed any of this? Uh, we, I imagine you guys have been using your disguise kits in your own rooms and chambers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, other than that, no one immediately seems to be noticing. Make a perception check. Thank you. Okay. Not not command ops in the tavern hall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's call that a oh, wow. What Fourteen. Are these? Fourteen. Thank you. Um. You do see Yorda, uh, the barkeep, who's mm. currently kind of in the process of wiping out some glasses at the end. She's just kind of occasionally giving a glance over to you guys as you're walking around. Mm-hmm. You go first. You want to come with? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Don't do anything stupid. Mm-hmm. Mouth shut, mm. eyes forward. Show me how you walk. Maybe, maybe a little less. That's nice. <laughs> I also assume a little limp. Okay. Slight. All right. John, please. I'll say for the purpose of this, each of you make a performance check. Oh God! Oh, no! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, shit! Oh no! Uh, Twenty. Sixteen. Okay. The both of you exit out, holding your breath. At a peripheral, you can see the kind of deep reds and golds of the Crown Scarred armor flanking you as you breach the outer porch of the tavern, stepping down into the dust to the main street, curve to the left, and see nor hear any reaction from either of them. Keep moving to the other side. I go of the with street. the single just a little bit after. Okay. And I rolled a natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> three for the night. Yep. Oh my hey. god. What color is that die? It's gold now. Uh, it seems to be iron, like my will. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Good luck. Good luck. It may not have been that was, that was good. That was good. the snitch good after all, you <laughs> asshole. Um, me and my magic swords? Apparently. Mm. All right, you saunter by without an issue. By saunter, mm. I mean you stumble through. <clears throat> yeah. You hear a cough at one point, <coughs> and it kind of just causes you a moment, but you just continue on without notice. I'm this no, everybody's leaving, and I didn't have a partner. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You can no. come with us it's if you'd shirt. like. Because I feel like you guys are kind of noticeable, and why would I be this really beautiful woman leaving with this stinky guy? <laughs> <laughs> it's quickly becoming canon that you just have shit smeared all the diary is over here in the art. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, okay. you, you could like you, you could travel with me. Yes, and. <laughs> Yes. I could, I could be your daughter. You're my daughter. Yes, and we're we're a couple, and uh, he's our our god, or something. I don't know. I'm yeah, you to... leave after us, Caleb. Okay. Isn't it simpler for you to walk on yourself? No, like a me and Nod are going to go together. Okay, come on, okay. now. I'm sorry. No, it's she's fine. She's just go. very, she's very uh, forward. Sweetie, let's go. Yes, mommy. Go play. <laughs> okay. And we walk out. All right, you guys don't have to make it. Uh, a performance <laughs> check because you've exited before and you are completely visually a different Yay! individual. So you guys passed through without an issue, and then Caleb, you can follow up behind as you are not currently under direct guard in the sure. tavern. They do notice you exit, mm -hmm. um, and they're aware of your presence, but you are not confined to the tavern. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys all manage to slowly come together a few blocks down and out of the sight of the Crown's Guard guarding the Nestled Nook Inn. And where are you off to? <gasps> we did it. Where should we go? Let's just keep walking for now. Okay. What, should we walk towards the carnival? Where the zombies were? Who was he would be my question. Oh, right. We should find out where he's from. How do we do that? Should we ask around and say, The one hey, who died, you mean? Anybody yeah. know where the old guy came from that turned into a zombie? That's a good point. 
it seems to be the you know, most appropriate thing to ask at this point. Well, we could find some public places and just gossip a bit, see if anybody's heard of him, if, they, if their friend has died at the circus last night. Yes. I mean, you mentioned no sick people. If he was sick, sometimes that word gets around. Okay. Maybe there was a morgue. Maybe they recognize him from Maybe his belongings. These small towns. Most everyone knows everybody else. Let's go to, like, uh, is there a market yeah, area? Yeah, let's find a market, exactly. Yeah, the, the, maybe they don't have like a large bazaar, but there is an area that is generally where a lot of the uh, simple wares and you know, vegetables and meats and, and uh, you know, people who, who sell small things that they craft their own at, so it's, it's, a, it's a small market. Um, if you want to make an investigation check. Uh, 16. Okay. Uh, by going around and asking questions and inquiring and, and trying to, to, to prod people to just talk about what transpired the night before, uh, the information you gather involves that the, the man who passed away, his name is uh, Enon Brinje. Enon Grimje? Brinje. Brinje. Uh, he's a standard human being in his early 80s. He was old, but healthy, it seemed. Um, was in good health, or? Yeah. Seemed to be in good health yeah. for his age, I mean. Um, for a so bit. our war against the old continues. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Um, yeah, the Logan's run of yeah, D&D. That's, uh, he's, he seemed to have been uh, retired for quite some time, uh, but had been making Little bits here and there, just kind of helping either fishermen move fish to and from the uh, the outside of the lake. He wasn't really well known, you know. The reason people are talking about him now is because the word has gotten around the gossip about that. But for the most part, he was kind of one of the many faceless people that lived in the town, and a handful knew his name and Re retired fishermen. Uh, he was helping. He was he's, he's helping. He was helping. He's helping with do, we, do we know what he was retired from and where he was staying? Maybe where he was drinking? I'm sure, I mean, he had to go somewhere. Uh, actually, he was uh, known often to be drinking at uh, the old Mud Hole Tavern. Mm. Travis's favorite place. Is that with the, with, with the, the weird E uh, spelling? No, just old. I'm always old. a fan of that. I know. Ye oldie. Ye oldie. It's ye oldie pronounced thee. It is pronounced thee. Um, yeah, when you see the ye. I and then, fully, I should point out this is the second sort of connection to the Ustalak. The what? Well, we before we met up with you two, we fought off a, a wicked, like water snake. It came up out of the lake for some reason. Is this a metaphor, or was this actually a real thing? This really, it really happened. happened. I like a, snake, a snake snake. I punched a snake it was very to large. death. <laughs> really, did. really big. Hey, weren't there snakes awesome. in the in the circus last night? But that wasn't related to the attack, I suppose. It was a little a story. different. How, yeah. how long a snake are we talking about? Oh, it was a big, like a like a sea, like a lake snake, like a giant water snake. And the the locals were complaining about more and more instances of these snakes coming out of the lake. And this fellow who died was a fish or worked with the fishermen well, in, in the lake? He took some jobs with them. Do we know, did anybody Watch see this. him the day of the carnival? Was he working with anyone that day? Uh, you don't find any of that information. <laughs> that, that would be kind of a tense investigation thing. You have to go beyond just asking questions around a market for. Is yeah. the lake within the city limits? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's technically considered part okay, of the city. It might guys. not be an issue. We I mean, could go back over there the and talk to The docks in the tavern, we should. Where's the old the mud hole tavern old. at? Uh, uh, the mud hole tavern uh, you've been to before. Because mm. I first, was doing my rounds. Yep, when you, uh, when you first uh, first entered the city. Yep. So you the can Lock Ward, is that what we're talking about? North Ward, Lock Ward, Hill. Uh, the, the, the Lock Ward is where the old mud hole would be. The is. Yeah, the lock ward is, is to the eastern side of the entire city. Right. The lock ward is like the central one. The wards border the lake. Love a good snake. All right, so you make your way to the old mud hole. Mm -hmm. uh, entering inside, this is it is a dark dive of a bar. You've been there once before. Yeah, it smells heavily of, of old, wet wood, uh, ale stain, and peanut. Um, on the four, it's a very small area, and of the four tables that are there, they're mostly empty except for uh, one old man who's sitting there in the process playing a game of solitaire with his cards, and what looks to be uh, a man in his 30s thumbing through a book, who's, it would be the barkeep if there were more patrons at the moment. 
and he's kind of just flipping through and glances up and gives you a look as you enter. And so, um, can, can I help you? Uh, are you looking for uh, drinks? Can I get you anything? Yeah, I would really love a drink. And I sit down next to him. What do you have? I need something heavier than a trust. I've had enough trusts to last me a lifetime. Uh, well, I, we have liquor. Uh, I will take your liquor. I'll, I'll, I'll get some whiskey for you then. Thank you. Uh, whiskey, everyone? Sure. Yeah, two, please. Sure. <clears throat> it's okay, she's my daughter. She loves whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember what voice I was doing. <laughs> Make a deception check. I won't let her have any whiskey she wants. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty that's good. That's pretty good. Uh, 17. This is my daughter. Like, all right. We've been doing a pub crawl. He goes and lines up uh, you know, a few small containers, fills whiskey for all of you. Uh, all right, uh, around the bats, that'll be about uh, eight silver for the batch. Um, I have that, I have that. <laughs> Pull out eight silver, and I, right. uh, oh, wait, silver, did you say? I do not have eight silver. Oh, well it's done. okay, I have it. You do? Sure. <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Takes the silver, puts it away, slides the, uh, the drinks to the rest of you, and goes back to his book and just starts thumbing through again. Honestly, it has been a terrible 24 hours. We were at the circus last night, and um, God, I did not know him well, but old man uh, Brinche. He Phil. Up, he looks up and goes, uh, Enon, it's sad to see him go. Many of us were wondering when day it was going to be. Oh, did you know him? Well, he came in here almost every day to drink, yeah? He's a lonely man. It was a terrible way to go. Well, I'm sorry. It doesn't bother me one way or the other. Mm. Just had to lose a patron. Mm. Do you know who he was talking to the day of the carnival? <laughs> I don't recall. Um, sometimes he would tell stories Trevor was willing to listen and not most were willing to listen. Oh, was he here that day? Yesterday? Yeah. Um, I think he came in briefly for a drink before the carnival, but that was it. You know, we should drink to an old story as a brim chase. <laughs> Shh. I down my shot. <clears throat> <sighs> what did the man drink, out of carry on? What was his final drink? I'm a bit of a macaw person myself. Mm. Ah, so sorry, whiskey you just had. I'll take one more, and I'll get one of my own. All right. I heard he was sick, too. Don't, I don't believe he was ill. I hope no. not. He just seemed to be rather... Wasting away. Mm. Shouldn't be doing so much manual labor at that age, but. What what labor was he doing? I could just carry stuff around for small tasks. Down Great. at the docks? Docks, up at the, uh, the northward, he'd carry crates, boxes. He was just odd jobs, ways to get by until the end of his days, which now that they've come, May he rest and not have to do odd jobs yet ever again. Yeah. He goes and pours you know his him? own bit of whiskey. Yeah. Do you know who he was doing odd jobs for that day? Your lady voice is worse than mine. <laughs> 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 to be honest, if he did, I wasn't paying attention. Mm. I'm sure his family will miss him very much. Uh, uh, nobody nearby. He had a son about 35 years ago, but him and Got married and went up north. Did he work for any of the particular breweries around? I don't know. Maybe. Fringy. <laughs> Lasky. Bill Lasky. Where did he sit in here? Kind of points over to another table that the guy is playing solitaire at, but an empty table to the right of him. <laughs> Usually right there in the corner. I go sit in the corner. Check it for this. Yeah, I'm going to look mm -hmm. for anything I can find that looks like an old man was touching it. Okay. <laughs> Make an investigation check. Okay. Because I'm really good at these investigations. Find a metal uh, 12. 12. It looks like probably old 
person <laughs> touching has been all over here. Um, old person touching. Yes. Uh, the table the table's very old and warped in places, stains all over it. It's not a very good table. It's seen some rough days. If we were to go down to the docks and ask after a few people that he've worked with, is there anyone you know that we should speak to, or familiar it is? Uh, I apologize. I served him drinks and pretended to listen to him many times, but I wasn't really paying attention. I understand that. Mm. Was there anyone who did? That wasn't hypothetical. I, maybe. Mm. I apologize. I. Uh, Spend most of my days reading, and you're gonna lift the book. What's the book? Hey, what's the book? You read? Subtle guys. <laughs> We've got to read. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. So while they're doing this, I'm gonna saunter over to the card player. Okay. Oh, no. Can I see what's on the spine of that book? From where I am? Uh, at a glance, at it, it's it, <laughs> it's uh, it's in uh, Zemnian, mm -hmm. um, which you can read. Yeah. Um, but it says, the translation would come about to uh, the Rosed Embrace. <gasps> the romance, romance novel. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> how's, uh, Is your, Fabio on the cover? How's your trashy, uh, how's your trashy novel? <laughs> it's a good one. So I don't, no judgment. So trashy, it's very tasteful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I mean, I, I am fluent in Zimni and I've read all his works, so. Have you? Mutual fan. Oh, I did not realize there was another Samuel fan in here. Um, uh, which is your favorite? Uh, I love the Farthing's Embrace. Uh, <gasps> I haven't read that one. Uh, it's an early one. He actually did it under a pseudonym. He did a whole series under that pseudonym. Short stories, mostly. What was it again? Uh, oh, uh, and he goes over and like grabs a piece of chalk from the back of things. So it's like right now. Like, what was it? It was F the Farthing's Embrace. Yes. Oh my God! I did not know about this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I'm going to have to <laughs> send up so Zadash and see if we can find some of those books. Thank You're you. You're a, a big reader or just uh, Samuel? Oh, just recently Samuel. I, I, I read on occasion. Uh, it depends on what you can find. Oh, I read a lot, but um, all I've been able to find in this town is that parchment place. Well, the parchment place is good for trash. If you're looking for unique stuff, there's a few places you can go instead. Here in town? Here in town, yeah. If you're. If you're having a hard time finding a specific book, so I'd, I would recommend going to Burnished uh, Biblos. Burnished Biblos, which ward is that in? Oh, that's in the North Ward, uh, just on the outskirts of the, the main market street. Uh, it's kind of a bit of a cluttered mess, but uh, uh, Oglin will be happy to help you there. Oglin? Oglin. Oglin. Hmm. That is good to know, thank you. Not to worry. Uh, those are hard to find. The uh, Farthing's Embrace. Oh, I, I imagine so. I, 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 I can't be that bad. Well, he wasn't as proud of them, you know, early work and all that. Of course. Uh, but I have, I have a contact in Rexentrum, probably. If I cannot find it in Zadash, I'll mm. get it from Rexentrum. That would be the place. Uh, what's your name? Oh, my name is uh, Caleb. Caleb. Yeah, pleasure. pleasure to meet you. I'm Vasna. Vasna. Pleasure. Thank you for the drink, uh, Vasna. I'll be taking my leave now. Of course. Uh, if anybody else is a reader as well, uh, Samuel was, um, should come by and talk sometime. <laughs> Not there at all. <laughs> <laughs> this has been quite a day. Is there pictures? Is, is there pictures? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the pictures are up in here. Oh. Beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds exciting. It can be, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I uh, sneak my undrunk uh, whiskey to not. Oh, I take through. out my flask from my leg, unscrew it, and pour it in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, what do you guys think? Should we stay here or should we go somewhere else? Uh, we gotta get uh, Molly. So I just sat down for a moment with the solitaire player. Correct. They say solitaire is the game for the death obsessed. There's inevitability to every hand. Most of them are doomed from the start, no matter what you do. Any interest to buck fate and just 
Try your hand at an opponent for once. No money, just friendly. <laughs> I slide the rest of my whiskey over. Are you a devil? I've been called worse. Uh, I don't play with devils. Well, just a man who saw another man die yesterday. It's been heavy on my conscience, and I just want to. I was wondering if there's anything you could tell me about Enon. Enon wanted to go to that bloody circus. I'm regretting it myself. Told him not to go. <laughs> Stupid it is. <laughs> For the common folk and the young. Yeah. He's always had his head in the clouds. Has he? It's not what other people have said. Other people are stupid. Why do you think he went? Why do you think that happened to him? He's lonely. Don't trust the carnival. Nothing but spooks and magicians and things that want to take your life and take your money, take your family, whisk you away. Fuck the circus. Fuck the circus. Yeah. So, uh, that's what you think happened to him then? I feel like there's something evil afoot. Says the devil. Hmm. Again, I've been called worse. I'm sure you have in your time as well. <laughs> he takes the drink, sips it. Don't come around here no more. I take my cup back, <laughs> down it. <laughs> I love small towns. <laughs> we head outside. All right. Well, that was uh, revealing. Well, we learned a few things, actually. He is a prime target for a perfect victim, perfect candidate. No one really paid attention to him. He was no old, family. he had no family, his son is gone. Awfully convenient. Awfully convenient. Still awfully convenient that your little old circus doesn't allow the elderly, which you never fully explained, and he happened to be one of the oldest people in that circus. Where did that rule come from? The sick makes sense? I asked you that before, but why? Elderly. Uh, that rule's been around for as long as I can remember because it makes people think the show's dangerous. Gives them a thrill. You worried about him having a heart attack or something? We're not really worried about people having a heart attack. We want people to be worried about having a heart attack because then they're more excited to come see the show. It's, this is how these shows work. Do you know who implemented that rule? <sighs> Before my time. In his defense, every carnival I've gone to has said no sick people, no old people. It's still, a kind uh, of, it's a boilerplate. Still a good candidate and a good, uh... If you were trying to hide doing something to someone, it's a great candidate. If I was trying to get away with something, terrible idea. Or, if you were trying to frame someone, seems to be a lot of pretty bigoted people in this town who don't like tieflings and other Somebody strange town? lots. Jester, you actually, I think, said one of the smartest things of the, uh, of the night, which is, you did, yeah. Which is, guard's really weird. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? The guards are really crown weird. Guard. The crown guards. As you were saying, the what kind of weird? Lock? Like, you know, they, um, what kind of weird? Well, uh, <laughs> they, they seem to be the uh, the one through line, the one connecting through line, and also, what's her name? Uh, Norda mentioned that she didn't want to let you lot in, but made an exception. I don't know, I'm just saying, if I wanted to, to do something and if I already knew a bunch of people were upset and angry at a circus and strange people coming in. Uh, it's easy framing, in my opinion. She makes a valid point, actually. She does make a valid oh, point. like if people are scared of carnivals, they won't want them in the future. Bingo. That, or if you're up to no good and you don't want to get caught, Where blame it frame? on the, the easy frame. Wouldn't the the weirdos time. who just rolled into town. 
Great, we'll so we time. just need to investigate the, the, the guards. That might be harder to do. Maybe let's, we go down to the lock. Let's we'll start at the docks, but I'll yeah, keep that in mind. Start at the docks. I don't know. It might not be the guard. There might be another through line that we're missing. Do we need to question the guards? <sighs> oh, that sounds terrible. Maybe That's we should tell them they can't idea. leave town. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, yeah. Maybe when they question us, we, we can question yeah! Yeah. yeah! I like that. I was about... <laughs> no, never mind. What? I was just about to be very impressed, but I take it back. Oh. <laughs> How far is it from uh, where we are to the lock ward? You guys are technically in the lock ward, uh, oh, sorry, so so it's it's a it's a quick jaunt over to the edge of the Ustalak. So yeah, so the Ustalak was the is the docks. It's what they call the ward. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the giant lake that the docks are. Against. Yeah. The, the city is built against this giant like kidney bean. What does lake. Usta mean? What does Usta West come from? Mountain. Do you speak Austin. Zemnian? Austin. Austin. He, you speak Zemnian. I do speak Zemnian. Yes. What does Usta huh? mean? It means. Do you know? Upper? Do you know? I know? I'm well, just Austin fuck with you. means. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, but so Austin cruel. means lake. Right, like, means lake. Usta, no, it's not yeah. Lake Lake. Usta. Uh, essentially, it just means an East Lake. East Lake. I was East right. Lake. All right. That's very good. Okay. Okay. Not, not okay. too complicated. All right. Well, I'd like to avoid the guards for as long as possible. Agreed. Let's head down in the dock. Mm-hmm. All right. Keeping you... an eye out for the mm-hmm. guard. Mm-hmm. All right. So as you guys make your way towards the uh, Ustalak and the dock ward there, we'll go ahead and take a break. Oh! Hey! 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 See so, yes, we continue to unveil this mystery. This is um, exciting. Gripping. Indeed. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Little low level mystery here. We'll see yeah. where this goes. Um, we all right, guys. Out of the <laughs> back here in a few minutes. We're going to take a quick uh, restroom break. Pick it up from here. Uh, we have video at the break for this week's contest. So if you're watching on Twitch, feel free to go ahead and pay attention to get the password and enter this contest. And we'll have the victor at the end of the break. So we'll be back here in a few minutes and we'll see you then. Super fantastic. Hey, Critters, hope you're enjoying tonight's episode of Critical Role. As always, thanks for supporting our shows. It's time for tonight's giveaway. This week's gift from our friends at Wormwood Gaming is this Spalted Tamarind Dice Tray. And the code word is Carnival. Remember, only type it once or you will be disqualified. New season, same wood, it can be yours. Good luck. Congrats to the winner of my wood. Thanks again for watching. Stay turned, my friends. Hey everybody, I'm Will Friedle, and if you watched the first season of Painters Guild, you know how much I learned about painting miniatures in a very short amount of time. Well, you know what? We are back, and I can promise you, in season two, we're gonna be learning all new things from a whole bunch of new teachers. Don't hold your breath for too long, pass out. This is your first magic chicken hut. We'll never yank on another man's minute. If you don't get that perfect touch, he's gonna leak. Perfect. That's the last time we'll hear that word. As well as some returning old friends. Clothes might be optional, but the paint is required. Who told you clothes were they, the wardrobe. We're going to be learning new techniques entirely. We're going to be building minis from the ground up. We're going to be doing scenery. It's nuts. It's frantic. Be as messy as possible. This is the lesson we've been waiting for, kids. I'm a professional mini. You teacher. are. Thank we'll you. We'll get you there. I can see right through the camera to you watching at home. Cover Wait. up what you just did. Uh-huh. Yeah, I still have a lot to learn. <sighs> Painter's Guild Season 2 premieres January 8th, only on Alpha. Hey guys, I just went through a really bad breakup. It was like really rough. It was like worse than the time that all the AI banded together and decided to cyber bully all the remaining humans left through iMessage. (laughs) Anyway, today I'm gonna teach you how to break up with someone without breaking their heart and also without breaking your own heart. First things first, you're gonna wanna do this in person. It's super uncool to break up with someone over the phone or through text message. I don't care if you have to fight through a battalion of techno raiders through the smoldering wastes of new Sherman Oaks, you get together in person if you wanna break up with someone. Now then. 
Step one, make sure your partner is comfortable. Hello, Bad Whitney. Thank you for meeting me here in person. Are you too hot? Too cold? Too temperate? Step two, be honest. Explain your reasons for wanting to break up clearly. Bad Whitney, I think we should break up. You're really mean, you're really scary. I'm pretty sure you're a hallucination brought on by radiation poisoning. You also didn't support me when I wanted to go back to culinary school. That hurt a lot. Uh, step three, getting dumped hurts. They're gonna be upset. The best way to help is to listen. Hear them out. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no maybe, maybe you're right. Um, maybe, maybe we can work it out. And maybe, maybe we could just take a break instead. Listening is important, but don't let it stop you from doing what's best for you. No. I want to break up. Maybe one day we can be friends, but I think it's best for the both of us right now if we just do a clean break. And finally, say goodbye. The most challenging part of any breakup, a kiss or more is dangerous territory. A hug can be too intimate. A handshake is too stiff. Try for a sad, meaningful high five. You do a breakup. You are nothing. Bad Whitney, is that you? I know your secrets. The terrible thing. Uh, listen, maybe we should the get back together. I I've been having second thoughts. The man in the helmet. No, no. <laughs> so that's it for adulting in the apocalypse. Next time we're gonna learn how to make a salt circle with nothing but salt and a compass. See you later. What an entertaining piece of internet. Be sure to check out the full episode of Thrashtopia over on Alpha, where I interview Steve Zaragoza the 13th about what it's like to time travel. What? We also provide quality lessons in the fine craftsmanship of scrapperoni art. You love art, don't you? Get on over to projectalpha.com then and check it out. Hey. Hey. Psst. Hey, over here. Yeah, here I am. You caught me. Oh, you caught me being beautiful over here. Come on. Hey. Hey, don't you turn away from me. I've got so much of heart. I'm so fucking pretty! Shut up! Everybody knows you're beautiful! Just shut up, damn it! Introducing the first ever Critical Role art book, The Chronicles of Exandria, Volume 1, The Tale of Vox Machina. Standard and deluxe editions available now. Order your art book today at the Geek and Sundry and Alpha online stores. Hey there, I'm Becca Scott, and on this week's How to Play, we're slinging spells, wielding wands, and taking tiles. That's right, it's Arcane Academy from IDW Games. This tile-linking strategy game pits sorceress students against the evil forces of... Magical homework! Each player begins with a player slate, a will dial, and three shards. The will dial indicates power available to cast spells, and shards are used to create magic weapons and artifacts. Each wizard is competing for the most prestige points to win the game. As students of the Arcane Academy, you'll be dealt individual assignments, which will require your will and shards to complete. Once built, item assignments can provide actions during the game, such as forcing other players to discard or generating extra will. Spell assignments have a one-time instant effect, 
and both types of assignments provide precious prestige points. In addition to our private assignments in our hand, there are also four public assignments available to any player on their turn. Each player's board starts with the same basic corner tiles, and on their turn, a wizard may cast one of these tiles and activate its ability, placing an exhaustion token on the tile. Tile actions include collect shard. Take one shard from the center and add it to your shard total. Shards are spent to craft items. Gain Will. Rotate your Will dial up by one to a maximum of nine. Will is spent to cast spells. Use Item. Choose one of your completed items and perform the action described after the symbol. Complete Assignment. Choose an item or spell either in the center of the table or from your hand and play that card. To cast a spell, spend the appropriate amount of Will, follow the spell's effects, and tuck it under your slate so that its prestige value is visible. Add Tile. Take one tile from the center and place it in front of you. At the end of your turn, place that tile on any space on your slate, rotate it however you like. You may even stack that tile on top of another tile on your slate or on top of any of the four corner tiles. Chaos Magic! This symbol is a wild and represents all five possible casting actions. Additionally, if any tile has a slash on it, it means you choose which ability you'd like to activate. Or if there are two without a slash, you get to do both. Casting has a strategic component as well. Any adjacent tiles connected by links are also activated, but don't have to receive an exhaustion token. Wise wizards will optimize their tile casting for multiple actions per turn. Alternatively, whenever a player chooses not to cast a spell, they may rest on their turn, removing all exhaustion tokens on their tiles and optionally discarding one of their private assignments and drawing a new one from the deck. Once a player has completed eight assignments, they take the Pencils Down card, and the game has one last turn for each player. Prestige points are totaled, and whichever wizard has the most wins the game. And that's Arcane Academy. This game is really great for all ages and has some beautiful artwork. I hope you pick it up. You can watch me play lots of games live on Game the Game at twitch.tv slash geekandsundry or projectalpha.com. Keep playing games!
welcome back, everyone. So, before we dive in real fast, uh, we do have a winner from the chat. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Uh, congratulations to Abilene Rain. Abilene yeah. Rain. In the Twitch chat, uh, you won the awesome Wormwood uh, prize package. Uh, Donova will be in contact with you to get your contact information and get that sent out to you. So, congratulations. I love that we just went through like every rain yep. song. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Most of them. We'll get a few more. Yeah. All right, so. As you guys make your way across the streets of the Lock Ward, you find yourself to the docks, uh, which are about five or six main dock structures that protrude anywhere from 10 to 30 or so feet into the lock itself. Um, there are no major ships. The, uh, the biggest river that exits the lock heads towards the mountain, so there is no direct path to the inlet. So all the boats in here are small fishermen's boats. They're designed specifically for the lake and for freshwater fishing and uh, whatever needs to be transferred from bank to bank. Um, as you approach, you can see mo a good amount of the boats are still out in the water. You can look out and see kind of the, uh, the outline of them against uh, the horizon. Um, you see a couple of small like land masses just in the center of the lock. They're just barely out of view. Um, you approach, and uh, the first couple of uh, fishermen that, that walk past you uh, both look to be you know, hardened in their years. Their skin is very uh, battered by the sun. It's it's you know, they're wrinkled and 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 dark from constant uh, beating of the sky upon them. And uh, they kind of glance over at this unique looking. Troop as they approach and just kind of stop and don't say anything. They just look at you like, "What are you doing here?" Do we still have this guy's spell up, or you have it for maybe ten more minutes? <clears throat> oh shit! Do we? I'm sorry. Do we see any king, uh, king's guard, crowns guard, crowns guard? Um, make a perception check. Mm. Eleven. Uh, 11, same. All right. Uh, glancing about, you don't see any crowns guard in the immediate vicinity of the lock ward. You've seen them, they, they patrolled the town and walked through ward to ward, um, but you don't see any at the moment, no. Looks like we're ahead of them in the investigation. <laughs> hey, mm -hmm. hey, hey, Jester. What? Uh, do you happen to remember the name of that guy whose daughter we saved from the snake? Yeah. Let's see if I wrote it down in my sketchbook. Yeah, because I, I didn't write it down. King Bertrand? N no. no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about... Oh, uh, no, I know that guy. Um... Nope. No, I didn't. You remember where he lives mostly because you were there. Oh, that's true. We could that's go by true. there. We could go by. He he know. seems to like us. He worked out there, right? Yeah. 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 All right. You guys make your way uh, along the edge of the lock to the outside of uh, the fisherman's house. Uh, the house is currently being repaired. <laughs> Um, you can see in the main doorway, the door is off the hinges, and there's a large pile of ruined furniture and cabinets that have just been kind of shifted out of the building. You can also see what appears to be uh, a, a long serpentine body that is currently being skinned <laughs> by a younger man, probably like 14 or 15, is in the process of like carving the skin off of it. This thing is about 20 to 25 feet long. That's the um, snake I punched. That's your work? Yeah. That's impressive. You took it all by yourself. Well, no. I mean, they they help me. I'm not an egomaniac. They they fucking help me. But I saw your guns last night. You probably took the lead. Just they they help. Give credit to the whole damn group. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> um, what like flattery? Of of no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm comparing the snake to the snake that's tattooed on my hand. To try and get the heads to be the exact same size. Okay. <laughs> we, we have been in the woods for too long. <laughs> I've forgotten how to talk to people. Oh, the game is really suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the damn compliment. Okay. okay. Um, as you approach, you know, the, the young man is currently like trying to this large, large sharpened knife. It's it's almost been. It looks like it may have been a, a butchering knife, like a heavy butchering knife that's been kind of using currently to, to flay and pull the, the skin off the snake. Looks back at you guys and just doesn't know what's going on. You hear a voice go, "Hey, hey!" 
and you look up and you see the fisherman that you saw before, the one who came to you guys in the tavern. He's up on top of the roof, and he's currently like boarding uh, some portions of it. It looks like a part of the roof had been damaged in the fray. And he kind of goes, hold on! Gets up and comes down the ladder on the side and approaches. You can see he's been sweating. It's like, I am so sorry. Uh, I didn't know you were coming. What, what, what can I do for you? Sorry for dropping in. Do we look like ourselves yet? No. Oh. <laughs> no, actually, he, 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 he looks in... Actually, it's an interesting point. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Wait, none of you look the same. That's right. No, thank you for reminding me. So he comes down and goes, so he comes down and he goes, how can I help you? <laughs> it's us. Yeah, it's me. Um, yeah, and I kind of pull the hat off and I'm like, and pull my hair up. I'm like, it's Beauregard. We, we killed your snake. Pretend that I don't talk. Pretend that I don't oh, talk fuck like it. I this. Drop, I dropped this guy's self. <laughs> <laughs> the form, he goes, oh, oh, I'm sorry oh. to deceive you. Uh, it, I'm very confused. Oh no, we're just, the, don't worry about it. What, what was your name, friend? Uh, Rinaldo. Rinaldo, that's, what, that's what it was. I knew it was an R, our thing. Okay, Rinaldo. Ronald, this snake that was in your house is not the only strange occurrence that's been happening. I've been trying to find out the cause of it. Have you seen anything else like this in the time that's passed? Uh, no, we've just been doing repairs in the house and getting everything underway. I mean, this this is the first snake that's come on this side. You know, they're, most of them live towards the center of the lake and stay underwater. It's been like two in the past few months that have come up. It's a bit of a nuisance. Have you seen any zombies coming out of the lake? <clears throat> zombies? We're asking, what are you talking about? We're asking after a, a, a man that helped down at the docks named Enon. Have you heard of him? Enon? Enon. Yeah, I worked with him a couple times. He comes through looking for work, just asking to see what's available. You obviously have not heard the news uh, from the uh, traveling circus in town from last night. No, no, that's the big blue tent, right? That's correct. No, what's going on? Enon turned into a zombie. What? Enon turns into a zombie. Yeah. And was killed. What? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. That's terrible. Wow, I, I, that's really terrible. I'm sorry. We were trying to see if he might have worked with people that might have known what he was doing that day earlier. I haven't seen him with the docks in a while. Not for a week, at least. Really? really? Is there anything out of the ordinary from the past week or two? It comes to mind anything off about the run of the mill stuff? I mean, other than a giant fucking snake rooting my house, but. Not, come, not that comes to mind, no. Right. Circus. Circus coming into town, that's a little weird. I see you're skinning the beast. Can I ask why? I'm not gonna let it go to waste. That's some good meat, that's some good skin. Uh, and you mentioned the circus coming to town is weird? Why? Because there's a circus in town. <laughs> I think it just means out of the ordinary, yeah? Yeah. Well, when, we don't when, get many shows and travel and fog. We, I mean, last time this was here a year ago, it came and went in a week. You said you hadn't seen this. Hi. Hi. You said you hadn't seen this person in a week? Was that unusual? No, I mean, I didn't keep up with him. He just kind of came through every now and then, and so I had a little cash and needed some help hauling things through town, I'd ask for his assistance. He was an old fella, and it was less that he was helpful and more that we just wanted to help when we could, but, mm. you know. If we went down to the docks where he worked, is there anyone that we should ask for to speak to that might have known him better? I guess it's as good as mine. To be fair, although we're a community, we're also relatively competitive, so you understand. I do. Can you think of anyone who would have wanted him har to harmed in some way? I don't think so. I mean, I mean he's, a, he's an old man. I don't see him able to hurt anyone. The disposition seemed positive enough, a little, a little sad and lonely, but... If you think of anything, or if you hear anyone <laughs> speak about him, you can find us at the Nestled Nook Inn. We'd appreciate anything if you... Happens to reach your ears. Of course, I'll, I'll, uh. Let me finish up here at the roof and I'll ask around and see if anything comes up. How's your little girl doing? 
<laughs> How's your little girl doing? Sorry, <laughs> I kind of cover my, <laughs> my beard. I just, How's it just your wasn't girl? expected. Um, Sorry. No, she, yeah. she's doing great. She's doing great. She's been a little spooked, but uh, she slept well last night and just, you know, she's doing fine. Thank you again for what you guys did for me. You're welcome. What? What? Uh, for what? Oh. We saved a little girl. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, that's right. That's right. If no one has anything else, I, I think If you we see can any take zombies, please let us know. I will. Uh, you were so kind to help me when I saw a snake. I figure if I see a zombie, you'd also be helpful. We would helpful. definitely do. We already a killed bit, a zombie, just too. Just a little well. bit more, like, <laughs> yeah. uh, vague, uh, yeah. She's no, a some weird snake. This is just a big, weird snake I'm looking at. It's just you can go it's big, it it's weird. I know, I've been looking at the snake this entire time. Oh, we have one of its fangs. I pulled it out. Yeah, I was Make a nature keeping check. Mm -hmm. Don't do those much, either. I think I have a fang, too, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, nine. Nine? Uh, you don't know much about snake biology. It's hard to tell if it's out of the ordinary. It's just a big snake. Looks like mine. Only bigger. Mm, much bigger. <laughs> Shall we? We Fuck. are. Sure. We are the best detectives ever. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we are really doing bad at this detective thing. We should probably wrap up whatever we're doing. I, I imagine they're going to come by the end soon. Try and speak with us. Oh, no, Not we, we didn't two. leave any sort of like Ferris Bueller y thing. No, no stuffed beds. <laughs> no, no, no recordings on the old VHS. Oh, it's um, what are you guys doing? Where are you going? Is there anywhere else that we need to inspect? The, the carnival or the more docks? Well, stuff, I feel like or? going back to the carnival is probably a bad idea. I'd say the docks are his home if we could figure out where he lived. Where he was last seen? He was last seen at the circus. Yeah. Renald. <laughs> yeah. Do you know where? Before that. <laughs> you know where Renald lives? The circus. I can't say I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. My apologies. Wish I could be of more help. Yeah, it's okay. Do you know? No, you don't happen to know what happened to his son by any chance. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know he had a son. We are see we're better investigators than this guy. Uh, <laughs> it's not, I mean, he's not trying to. No, no. <laughs> I take the compliment, <laughs> I'm putting it in my pocket, I'm keeping it for later. <laughs> he climbs back up the ladder to the roof. I think that following, uh, following a non-story isn't necessarily going to lead us here. He seems like a random victim. Hey, 14-year-old kid. <laughs> I got him. He's got kind of this puffy red fro going on. He looks a bit pale, fresh to this, scrawny, and he's still kind of just stuck in the middle of. He stopped drawing his blade across the sink. Yeah? Do you live here? No, no, I, I live about three houses up. And, Did you go to the carnival? Uh, last night, yeah, I was yeah. there. Okay, where were you at the carnival? Uh, I actually snuck in under the, uh, the, the, the tent after You're it had started. It right. That's a good thing. Okay. Were you close to Inan in the in the show? Were you on that side or were you on the other side? I, oh. Did you see the zombie? I, I saw him a little bit. He, I, he was a bit in the front. I had people in front of me, but I, I think I saw some of it. It was pretty cool. It was kind of crazy, it was right? Kind of nice. Have you heard any ghost stories around town lately about scary things happening? Oh no! My grandma told me a ghost story years ago. Uh, about there are these these like giant badger creatures that live on the hills of the Ash Keeper really? that can stand up on their hind legs and they come down and they eat kids that don't go to bed in time. Oh shit! Those guys are scary. I've yeah. heard of them. You that should be true. really careful. <laughs> Have you heard anything about um, zombies? No, 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 not since that. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Caleb has seen some shit. <laughs> I have to finish the... Hey, listen, if you hear any other ghost stories, you come and find us, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Are we just going from very, person very to person in the town telling them to come find us? <laughs> She's terrible at this. <laughs> well, she's making friends with everybody. I don't see mm -hmm. any of you making friends. I'm a little concerned that we've been gone for a while. Yeah, maybe we should get back. And maybe let these two that aren't under house arrest. Continue the investigation? Or go back? No, continue. 
All right. I mean, if you're up for it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we'll be a regular. Yeah, we've done nothing wrong. There's, uh, we were, we're not sweating it. Sure. I'm not okay. sweating. Yeah, so... I believe you completely. That was very I mean, believable. They come knocking. We're I'm not going there. I'm going to give you another we're blessing before we leave, okay? Thank what you. Talking, what, are you, what are you talking about? None of us did anything. None of us. We protected the people of this town. It's true. It is true. I know. That's easy. Let's go solve a mystery, not. All right. Are you being sarcastic? Oh, no, you weren't. Okay. <laughs> Catching up on that. Mm. So uh, kids don't know anything about this. Old people don't know anything about this. Tavern keeper doesn't know anything about this. Yeah, Only the very... pure of heart make their answer eye riddles. <laughs> back to the tavern. Go back to, the, to the tavern. But pure of heart. Still going back to the guards thing. Back to the tavern. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> were we just on the docks? That's where we were. Yeah, you guys were at the dock. Yeah. We came up with buckets. You didn't ask me. But we didn't ask anybody. We went straight to the house. That's okay, true. we'll walk around the docks and look for a. We'll, we'll see you back in the later tonight. Mm. All right. Sure. Should we run back and, or should we saunter back? You're gonna probably, you know. Yeah. Poof. How much? How much time does she have? Wait a second. Though. About a minute. Uh, probably. yeah. Like it's about to fade. Yeah, I figured it had already happened. Like probably midway talking through probably. the kids. Off. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> um. Maybe super stealthily back. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I put my hood up. And I can maybe put a rope through the window. That's my. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Perhaps. Is there a two-story? Is there a two-story? Yeah. Two-story. You guys are up in the second story. Sweet. I've got rope. Let's do sure. that. Yeah. We'll sneak around the back of the inn and try to climb up yeah. the upstairs window. I can keep you busy I'll, at the front door. I'll I'll go through the front Ooh, like a proper person. Oh, because you can disguise yourself again. Yeah. I like that. All right. Um, so you guys are setting up a rope to climb up the back. Well, I'm gonna. Yeah, same. You you go in on your own up to the top. You put a rope through. It's distracting. Mm-hmm. Okay. In the front, and yeah, then we're interesting. Like uh-huh. All right. Uh-huh. And then I'm gonna drop some of the the rope out the out the back window for that. Okay. Easy enough to do so. So those of you who want to wait and can take the rope up, you wait for a moment where nobody's watching and climb your way up into the inn safely and get to your rooms. Feet you two, what are you rope, doing? It's a standard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kiddo, do you want to piggyback? Sure, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Scrabble up, let's go talk to some people. All right, I'll jump on Caleb's back. <laughs> All righty. Uh, so I'll wander down to where people are working, where people are moving crates around. He's on Caleb's back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that would be probably closer to the northward. Okay, so th- I, that's the plan, is to look for people moving crap around the same way that Enoch mm-hmm, is mm-hmm, said to mm-hmm. have. So that's what we'll do. Okay, make an investigation check. All right. Shall I help or no? If you want to. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, great. What did it tell us? Oh, you, you, you aiding him would give him advantage of the roll. Oh. 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 <laughs> that didn't help. Uh, but, um, well, you brought uh, 12 for me. Uh, you take a couple hours Ooh, wandering oh, through the yes. northward, asking questions, oh. and most of the information you get is they have no idea who that is, oh. or like, ah, oh, he died. It's about time. <laughs> and there's no point even asking questions because we've asked them all for two hours. Yeah, I'd say yeah, based yeah. on that roll, like you just you. Okay, well that's a big zero. Uh, you want to go book shopping with me? Sure. Okay. I believe that they said uh, that uh, gentleman said that the burnished biblios was in the north ward, correct? Uh, I believe you are correct. Yeah, it's on the southern portion of the north ward by where it borders the lockward. Okay, so I'll start asking questions to get us there. Easily enough, you eventually are led to it, and you come to what looks like a closet that's affixed to another building. <clears throat> um, it looks, the materials, the wood used, are almost driftwood um, and heavily weathered, and the front door is closed as you approach. It looks almost like a glorified storage shed that has been bolstered, or uh, bolted and, and put up against another structure. Okay, a storage shed pushed up against another structure. All right, well, I will walk up to the door and knock on it. Okay. No response. Is there uh, any... Uh, uh, breaks in the door in the building or cracks that um, Frumpkin could fit into? Uh, a visual glance looks like there's about that space beneath the door. Probably not enough for a cat to slip through. 
Are there any windows or anything, or is it all a big, dirty, dingy mess? Uh, there are windows, but if you look at the back of the windows, all you see is scraps of material, stacks of books, uh, piles of boxes and crates. Uh, it's literally blocked out with what looks to be things stacked up against from the interior. How busy is this? Uh, the front of this place? Not busy at all. It's just the two of you right now standing at the front door. No one's around coming in the door? Us, though? Uh, around, well, the, it's kind of, it's not on the main street. It's a little pushed back, uh, kind of recessed about 10 or 15 feet from the main road. So there's nobody immediately around you, but there are people like walking back and forth along the road behind, but you're not like out in the open, per se. Okay. And no one's coming to the door? No one's coming to the door yet, no. Want me to break in? Mm. Yes, no. Okay. Moment passes oh. and you hear. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the door opens. It was open. Oh. <laughs> and uh, the door opens, and there's like the sound of a couple of what sounds like heavy sacks going to the, the, the interior of it. And you glance about and you hear the voice go, Can I help you? Uh, hello? You look down, and there's this kind of crotchety looking, scrawny old gnome who's just sitting there in the doorway. He's got this. Like vibrant puff, like a, like a cotton ball of hair around his head, but it's just this perfect U of bald on top. Um, no glasses, his eyes are very, very small and beady, and he has this kind of bulbous round nose at the front with this little bit of a tuft of uh, chin white hair that matches the cotton ball tuft on the sides. Um, he's sitting there kind of clutching the top of the knob on the inside, which is actually affixed smaller uh, or shorter on the door, and he's, Oh, come in! Uh, yes, please. You're open for business, I take it. Always open. Come on in. All right. Turns around and kind of musters his way inside. And as soon as you step into the door and look around, this place looks like an episode of Hoarders. It is just <laughs> floor to ceiling, wall to wall stacks of anything and everything knickknacks, uh, small stuffed animals, toys, books, glasses, and goblets. Uh, it is it is the the biggest crammed flea market into a small shed-like space you've seen. I start unscrewing my flask. Frumpkin climbs back up onto Knot's shoulder <laughs> and snestles in. <laughs> Roger Rabbit. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, I am uh, scouting the city for books. I'm starved for books. Well, we've got books here. Yes, sir. Uh, yo, I'm sorry. Wh what is your name? Oh, Oglin. Oglin Hornsblower. Oglin Hornsblower. And uh, welcome to my collection. You want to buy some? Let me know. <sighs> well, I see you sell a great many things in here, <laughs> uh, books included. Wh wh this is just things you've collected throughout your lifetime. Right. Button. Traded for. Found? I don't know any, I don't understand what you just said, but I am interested <laughs> in books. Um, uh, particularly uh, in the arcane uh, realm, but uh, any kind of book. Um, do you have anything that you that you just outright know is out of the ordinary? I'm sure I've got a few. Look around, see what you find. Oh, okay. It's half the fun, half the journey. All right, uh, friends, let's... Uh... Can you... I am, I am, it is like, uh, it is like Winter's Crest morning for me, and I start scanning the shelves. Make an investigation check. Oh my god. Or are you, you helping him? Can you give me something to look for to distract me and give me a mission to go on, please? Mm. Yes, you want to find some sort of tool that helps you do what you do best. Wink. All right. Uh, investigation check, that is uh, 21. 21? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. I rolled a, a uh, uh, oh, a 21 investigation check. <laughs> All right. I'm looking for, uh, I'm just looking for baubles to steal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In, in thumbing through, um, there are plenty of books that Within a first glance, like this is not, not of interest to me, and so you're like having to move things out of the way and push things aside. The smell in there is just dusty and moldy, and you do find there is like some subtle water damage and some mildew growing in one far corner, and you're like, Ugh, put that back. Um, however, your world's really high. Um, two things catch your eye. 
One, there appears to be the remnants of some sort of a uh, a notebook, a sketchbook that is written in a language you do not understand. What languages do you know? Uh, well, off the bat, um, I, I don't know where that is in D&D Beyond yet. <laughs> uh, but if I open up my binder, I bet I have a paper version that I can uh, verify with. Um, it's character details, isn't it? Uh, they, I speak uh, Sylvan, Common, and Celestial, and I also uh, can uh, comprehend language as a ritual spell, but Ooh. I think that takes some time. It does take 10 minutes. 10 minutes for... Uh, but you glance through the book, and while you cannot read the text, you do yes. recognize that there are, are elements in the back of the book yeah. that have a hint of arcane nature. <laughs> That's one of two books you find with that role. It's like the adult section for him. I know. <laughs> I'm behind the curtain. The second book you find is written in Zemnian, which yeah. you can read. That's correct. Um, the title translates to Fiends of Folklore. <sighs> I'm so happy. Um, uh, uh, you have quite a shop here. I know I do. You have some real, <laughs> real treasures. Um, I'm particularly interested in in both of these books. Good choices. Good choices. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't know though. I don't, I don't think that I, I. I mean, I'm rather tight on coin at the moment, so. That's too bad. Maybe my eye. Eyes are too big for my stomach. Well, you. how much are you? Uh, how much would you part with these for? <laughs> he holds up the Fiends of Folklore book. Yeah. Three gold pieces. Three gold pieces. This one. Oh. <laughs> Ten gold pieces. Which one is which? The Fiends, fiends of Folklore is, is the three. three. The other tone. Arcane weird one. But you're not quite sure what's in it. Okay. Hmm. Uh, would you have any interest in a uh, magic cat? I'm sorry? Frumpkin disappears from on Knot's shoulder <laughs> and reappears next to the little man. <laughs> he like throws the books and like grabs like nearby this large like sack and he's like, and it starts so like <laughs> <laughs> the cat. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. I'll take that as a no. Child, don't cat destroy. Uh, <laughs> he, he does hit from. Oh my god! <laughs> really? Frumpkin, Frumpkin takes one point of bludgeoning damage. That might be it. I don't really. Know. Oh, the dogs! <laughs> yeah. It's one to three. I don't really know. I didn't think that this would happen so quickly. <laughs> Based with our own it's mortality. Yeah. What? A, oh please. Frumpkin point two. <laughs> yeah, he updates overnight as long as he's plugged in, right? <laughs> Hold on, I have to see Software if Frumpkin is still here. Um, must be plugged and connected to what? Uh, Type uh, in your uh, passcode uh, if you agree to the oh, terms. He's, he's one hit point of damage? Yes. He's still here. There you go. <laughs> Frumpkin immediately darts off, jumps on your shoulder, and turns around and. It's like. <sighs> so you don't like cats, I understand that. Okay. Sorry. It caught me off guard. <laughs> Shit. Well, I was trying to sample the merchandise for you, because if it was just a cat, it was just a cat, but this one changes to my other shoulder. He's a magic cat. Okay. <laughs> you can roll him in mud, he comes back clean. He disappears, he reappears, he brings you things. Can you make him go away? <laughs> Gone. Thank you. Now we can continue to talk money. <laughs> all right. All Here's what I propose. I do not have 10 gold at the moment. Uh, but it doesn't feel like you get a lot of thoroughfare here. So um, I'm going to come back uh, to purchase this later. Uh, that's it, that's the end of my spiel, that's all I've got. But I am interested, and thank you for giving me uh, the time. Of course, sorry about your cat, friend. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, not. Have, have I heard all of this coming? You've been hearing all of it, uh, but you've also found amongst the chaos um, what looks to be uh, a brass baby bottle. Um, 
that's oh, fairly dented, but it's very shiny of polished. You can see, you can already see on the inside. Um, oh boy. Dude, you're right. You find a new flask, actually, um, that appears to be made of a. It's very tarnished, but you kind of spit and rub it a little bit, and it looks to be made of a very, very fine metallic material. Uh, you're not entirely sure you'd have to clean it, but it looks to be like a very nice quality material. All right, I will try to trade my flask with. That flask. Okay, make a side of hand check. Indiana Jones style. <laughs> uh, 22. How? Oh, yes. Wait, more. No, that's right, 22. Now your flask, which still has liquor in it, it's fine, I'll is talk. left behind for the, em- for the empty flask that you receive. However, without an instance of anyone even paying attention, it is yours. Great. You can write in your inventory, you now are the owner of a platinum flask. Oh! Shit. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll do that in a second. The baby bottle, uh, it's a baby bottle? Or it's, baby rattle, would you say? It's baby bottle. Or, yeah, it, it looks like it was good. used as like a, a bottle for a very, <laughs> Sounds a very good. upper already, class You're already family. so ahead, though. I know, but I can't, I can't resist. Like we can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll try to take one more look and just kind of pocket that as well. Let me go inside a hand check, please. 20. Twenty. <laughs> it just vanishes into your cloak. It's the craziest thing. It was there and it's gone. Whew. Yes. Oh. Ah. Uh, Buy an airship. Are we going to leave now? Should we leave? I think we should leave. Maybe we should go. Did you need some money? I could lend you some money if you want. Uh, maybe we'll come back tomorrow. All right. Perhaps. Yeah. Lovely place you got here. Piggyback. Yes, please. <laughs> I'll hold these books for you. Come back when you can. I will. Within the week, I promise. All right. <clears throat> Have a good day, little girl. I will. <laughs> you guys exit the building. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did it again. I couldn't help it. I took some things. Do you think he noticed? Do you think we're in trouble? Maybe we should hurry back. I don't think he saw you. All right. Are you cross with me? <sighs> No. Just wait one moment, okay? Wait for me here. Okay. I heard you talking about money, by the way. I could lend you some if you'd like. Wait right here. <laughs> and I cast Detect Magic just before I walk back into the store. Okay. And I look all around. Uh, what are your hours here? As I look to see if there is anything. Okay. Anything we'll besides that. that book, that book, anything. Okay. Uh, you glance throughout the interior, and you don't sense anything magical, unfortunately, within the piles of rubble. Besides the book that he put down? Uh, the book does not radiate any magical All right. aura, from yes. it, per se. Yes. But he answers, he goes like, oh, well, all hours. We don't really close. Yeah. I don't really sleep. <laughs> Middle of the night, even. Sure. All right, business is business. Thank you. No worries. See you then. Bis später. And peace, mater. <laughs> that guy does not speak Zimnia. No, he does not. <laughs> Let's go back to the uh, hotel, yes, please. shall we? Let's do it. All right. While they're away, you guys wait there for a bit, kind of getting stir crazy in the process of just waiting in your room uh, for uh, Jester and Beauregard to knock at your door. Oh, oh. hello? Please open. Scrum's gone. Whoa. Uh, Hold uh, on, I'm naked. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I mean, do you want to put clothes on? Do I mean, should we take our clothes off? No. No. I, well, is there anything? Did you say that because you wanted to tell me something? No, I just wanted to make them wait. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, like I'm that. dressed now. I, I like that. It's very uh, like uh, we're giving them. Uh, we've already got the upper hand. Okay. 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 It's a power play. Do we invite them in? Or are we gonna, we're gonna invite, uh, you open the door, I'm gonna sit, I'm assuming, wow. on the bed. Get, knock sit. The All right, uh, come in, please. <laughs> oh! The door, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the door opens, and there are two crowns guard there standing. Um, she kind of shields at the side. Oh, hello, I wasn't expecting you. Oh, yeah, uh, hi. We have to notify you that uh, the investigation is ongoing. You will not be needed today. Please remain in your premises. Be back tomorrow. Okay. Jury summon. Bullshit. Sorry, <laughs> 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 God damn it. 
We are at D&D jury duty. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh. Damn. $7 a day? <laughs> what is this video. shit? Hey, can I ask you a question before you leave? Yes, what is your question? Are you guys going to be the same people coming back tomorrow? Possibly. What is your names? Mm. They look at each other, look back at you. I am Jonas. The guy pipes up, he looks a little younger, goes, I am Lucas. Jonas and Lucas, very good names. Mm-hmm. You guys should start like a band, like a, like a boy band or something. <laughs> well, yeah, it'd be good. Jonas Girls Brothers. would go crazy. Lucas Project. If you guys want to play <laughs> some games tomorrow, we'll just be here. Very well. Have a good day. They look at each other like, what? <laughs> she can close the door. <laughs> she have offered the game thing. What if we want to leave and then they want to take us up on the game thing? I thought you enjoyed games. No, I love games. Sure. But what if we leave and then they want to play games? Uh, okay. Oh. <clears throat> on to Ford's mm. door. I'm sitting playing with the cards. I open it. Same two guards there. Uh, Lucas and Jonah. Jonas. Um, Jonas and Lucas. Jonas and Lucas. Jonas Hello. Um, the investigation is ongoing. You will not be needed for today. We will return tomorrow. I shut the door. Any progress? <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> oh. <laughs> I just pause, and then you hear like the subtle shifting of greaves against the wooden floor as they slowly walk away. <laughs> Go take that game in the other room, why don't you? <laughs> that was a power move right there. Thank you. Mm. You guys return to the inn. Well, yes, we do. Yes, you do. All right, well. Well, that was terrible. No one found out anything. It was a waste of a day. We're all terrible at this. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, we... Uh, what time is it? That's not true. I still, I still say that some of the best information that you can get can be in the information that you don't find. That is what nonsense. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I'm just saying. Sometimes the the lack of information can be a process of elimination. Sure. It's broad. Yeah. It's super broad. No, no. You know what? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Yeah. I'm gonna take it. I'm trying to be. Fucking silver lining, so I don't feel like a piece of shit it's for a yeah. waste of day. And you guys are kind of shitting on that, but it's fine. You, you found nothing at the docks. Zip, zero. We spent hours there. No one knew anything about the old man. It's about See? Dust See? No one about. knew anything about him. That means prime candidate. Someone's little experiment. Little Frankenstein. I'm telling you. I don't really understand what she's saying. I don't either. I'm going to run up and down the stairs for a while. Just what? Yeah. <laughs> How long have you known this one? Who are you talking to? Anybody who's watching this happen. <laughs> About 24 hours longer than you have. <sighs> that one, explains a lot. And uh, at one point, Adel and the barmaid comes up and goes, I'm sorry, can you please stop? <laughs> Okay. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Dungeon Master. <laughs> yes. The other night, when Nott was out carousing a bit, while Caleb was asleep, he saw some figures in cloaks dash by. Was there any distinctive, distinctive anything about these three figures that dashed by? Not that you noticed, unfortunately. Damn it. I will share that information with the group. <laughs> <laughs> I saw some weirdos running around. Like when? The other night when he was asleep. How late? What kind of weird? Two in the morning. Ooh. You were out that late. Sorry. Maybe I'm... we should go out at two o'clock in the morning and see if we can find them. Oh, that's a good idea. Follow them. You guys notice that it's weird that no one's actually really talking about this? I mean, this is a small town. I come from a small town. Small town people gossip. I feel like there should be some more gossip than there is. It's very true. Someone is talking about this. We just haven't found them yet. 2 a.m. field trip. We can always leave through the window this time. Mm-hmm. I like that. I could be down for that. I'll leave the... Uh... Rope tied in here. We use your cat. 
reel it back up in so that there's no trace of us until we need to get back there. Are you asking for my cat to hold up a rope? Um, no, I'm, I'm telling you that your cat's gonna hold up a rope. How is a cat going to lift up a rope? It's not that heavy of a rope, it's just hemp. Uh, hemp rope can be pretty heavy. <laughs> well, if I... If I throw it back up there, then I imagine your cat can knock it back down at the very There, least. that would work, maybe. Well... Oh, is he like an asshole cat? Well, I he assume like... he's an asshole cat. <laughs> <laughs> All cats asshole cats. This is true. This is true. It might be down before we come back, is the thing. I assume he's gonna... You know, that's fair. Where, uh, where were you when you saw these cloaked figures? I had gone out to do some window shopping. At 2 a.m.? Yes, I wasn't very successful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had walked by the general store. Mm. Oh, we went there. Yeah, we did. I passed by a place called Natural Remedies, herbs and medicinal things. Mm. Bloody right. days. I went by a spot named Jackalware. It's a Smithies. Okay, but where do you see the cloaked guys? It was between. It, it was uh, <laughs> one block north of the uh, Natural Remedies. Natural, so Natural Remedies. What was the other yeah, one? Jackalware? I think that was what it was called. Yeah, Jackalware Smiths. What the fuck is a Natural Remedy? Uh, Jackalware. <sighs> we could do a little stakeout. We could. That's true. How do people send like messages in this town? Have we figured that out? Probably by foot or by horse, Messing, right? Yeah. It's should, not that big of a town. Should someone stay up? Well, I was thinking someone should keep a lookout on the roof of the inn in case someone comes for us while everyone else is out. How would we let anybody know? I don't know. Can you conjure those golden orbs up into the air as like a signal? It's a pretty limited, uh, they don't go that far. Hmm. Maybe we just risk it. Yeah. Let's risk it. It's 2 a.m. I'm sure everybody will be asleep. Let's risk it. Hmm. You know I am going sleep. to, um, <laughs> before we, before we leave, mm -hmm. is, there, is there a window in the hall, or are there only windows in our bedrooms? There is no bedrooms? window in the hall, in the rooms. Not okay, that's fine. Rooms. It's fine. Um, on our side of the only room, if you have three rooms. There are three rooms and they all have windows. Correct. All right. On our side of the door, I'm going to um, take out my. I'm gonna I'm gonna take out my healer's kit. Do I have like bandages or like medical tape or anything like that? Not like medical tape, but like there's there are, you know, clean strips of cloth and uh, some adhesive. Be yeah, bandages, oh. basic no general. Tape. <laughs> no tape. I know, I need mean, tape. <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, tie like a bandage, just ever so lightly, like around one side of the handle, onto something on the other side of the door. Okay. If there's like a, a lamp or like some sort of pipe or something, I can. So that, that we'll know if somebody Excuse tried me. to come in the room. Correct. Okay. Uh, you can pull one bandage out and affix it to one of the chair legs nearby. You could do that. Oh, for God's sakes, I just pull out a big thing of string. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll take some string and just kind of like some twine. Okay, all right. And what are we going to do? Like leave through the outer window? Yeah. To their window? Well, I'll figure they're on the, we're on the same room at this point. What Wait, what? What are you trying to do? I'm trying to make sure that if someone tries to come in our room, we'll know uh, I can if they've take come in. I can take care of that. Oh, well, then I'm taking my string back. <laughs> That's what fine. can you do? I have uh, some uh, magic for that. Which what is? is? He, has a, he has a magical spell that alerts you when someone tries to break in your room. That is oh, correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, That's convenient. Hmm? It's I can take convenient. a moment to do that, and it will let me know. The best part is, it doesn't alert him when I sneak in or out. That you know of. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
one mile of the watered area. Ooh, yeah. that's better. Let's do that. I just need ten minutes, and okay. I pull out a little uh, spool of silver thread and stretch it out. And uh, where where did you want this? Over the window. Well, door, I was gonna say in the door, door, but if you're like, if there's a, maybe even a place in the hall in case some, I don't. But uh, nah, well, people I can might do be the walking entire by. room, really. I can go doorknob yeah. to yeah. This, yeah. this okay. thread. Uh, funny thing about this mm-hmm. thread, there's no end to it. So I start <coughs> looping it all the way around the room and tie it okay. off and take out one of my books from uh, the holster, the one on the left side, and I open it up and you guys watch as I spend ten minutes referring to the book and tracing symbols on the floor along underneath the thread. And in about 10 minutes of time, nothing happens, but uh, that's taken care of. Nice. Yeah. See, he's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Didn't really look like much. Yeah, either that or I'm really bullshitting you and nothing happens. (laughs) Either (laughs) way, I like it. I'll take it, let's go. All right. Sneak out. I'm I'm gonna do one last thing before we leave, which is just Tussle the room a bit so it looks like it's been robbed, just in case they do come in. Mm, okay. So you toss the room a bit, uh, muddle up the space, and you guys one by one climb out the back of the window, down the rope, and into the alley behind the inn. Uh, looking about, it's you're waiting till about like post midnight. You said, yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's dark. Uh, the the various lanterns that dangle on the uh, the hook poles at different intersections of the street are lit. Other than that, you have a faint bit of moonlight that's coming through the sky. There are some clouds, they're a bit broken up, so every now and then the moon cover can vanish and then return, but for now you have uh, moonlight in the city. Um, where are you guys going? Towards the north end where the... Uh... That'll be leading the way, I reckon. Yeah. Where yeah, I'll go to where I saw the weird, I guess they weren't that weird, but the three cloaked figures. A little ways north of National Remedies? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'd like everybody to make a stealth check, please. Stealth check. Oh, do I still have a blessing? No. No, you don't, but I can do it. Not going to be pretty. To everybody, one by one, if we get to like an open uh, area. Oh dear. 21. Ooh. Right. 15. All right. 19. All right. 17. Oh, these are all good. 21. All right. <coughs> 40, uh, 12. <laughs> okay. 42. You guys following not dodge between alleys. There are a few patrols of the Crown's Guard that you see passing by, and you wait for them to just cross path and then move on. Eventually, finding your way to natural remedies, seemingly unseen. It's quiet, you can hear the sound of crickets in the distance. The cold night air is causing your breath to show every time you exhale. You walk in up under your cloaks as you move on. Um, the moonlight fades a bit and things get darker, but you follow Knot's lead and travel from place to place. You finally get to the outskirts of Natural Remedies and to the northern alleyway where you had originally seen those figures pass. So, you're there. Should we fan out a bit? Cover a couple corners so we can still see each other? Good idea. Yeah. All right, I'm we'll spread out a bit. I'm going to go with Forth. Let's go spread out too Are you two out. like an item? What? You and Ford, are you like a thing? Why, are you interested in no, it? No, oh, no. Just, no. you travel together and you well, yeah, he's always a good friend. go. Okay. Yeah. He watches out for me. Sure. I watch out for him. <clears throat> you know. Like. We're like, a good team. All right. Just like careful. you and Caleb. But not at all like that, but yes, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So as you guys fan out a little bit, everyone make perception check. Okay. A muscle, muscle show, I'm coming to oh, uh, with you. Natural one. Come in with me. Oh. <laughs> Stealth 19. Natural one? Oh, no. I don't see Perception. shit. Perception? 12. All right. Nine. Okay. 18. 10. Oh. Okay. So all of you, except for Jester, Managed to get a, a clear view of your vicinity, Jester. You somehow get like an eyelash caught in your eye, and you spend the next hour like trying to get it out, but it's like in the eyelid, and you can't. Like you well, try can you see to... it? Can you see it? Look, look up. Look up. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> to the, to the left. Yeah. Let me get. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Occasionally, you can hear the crowns guard approaching. They carry their torches with them, and you can see the light crawling forward. So you all kind of duck out of the way and let them pass. But an hour passes. Two hours pass. About the third hour, you get the sensation that whatever you saw the other night is not arriving on a clockwork time or not arriving at all. But see, about three in the morning in the center of the city by yourself, what do you wish to do? Three in the morning? Yeah. 
I turned to Caleb. Any, uh, any tingling from your alarm system? Uh, no, I would have brought it up if something had happened. That's a good point. Yeah. I'm going to just <clears throat> try and meditate on the, the strange death and just sort of see if I can feel anything. Okay. Uh, I don't know, make just... an intelligence check. All right. Let's just see how this goes. Meditation check. 17. 17? I'm kind of pouring over the details of what's transpired and what you guys have done so far to find information. You know, there are still things to inquire about. There are still things to wonder and discover, and there's been a few places you haven't been to, a few places you haven't returned to, like what? a few people that you haven't, you know, even inquired about that might be closer to the investigation. Oh, we should talk to the girl. To Toya? Yeah. Toya. Let's go wake her ass yes, up. Toya. <laughs> Maybe we Is she go... under arrest? We don't know. Yeah. Maybe we have to go back to the circus. Maybe it was Yasha. It's early enough. Maybe we should just we have a few more hours and the cover of darkness. Let's go wake Do her we... ass up. Maybe we should go back to the circus. The scene of the crime, it. that whole thing. I hate to admit it, but maybe. Okay. It's not yeah. us, but who's real, real stealthy? I'm all right. Maybe we don't all need to go. Maybe just a few. And while others are hanging back. Hang back close by, though, yeah. right? Yeah. If something goes bad. Or mm -hmm. if you still see something. Mm -hmm. How it's... far are we currently from our hotel, or from the inn? From the inn? About a 15 minute jog. So we can go to the circus? Mile right. and a half. While we've been figuring this out, I'm going to take out my painter's kit and draw like a little piece of poop on the side of the <laughs> next to... The tagging? That's good. Yeah. A little tagger. Is it a mound of poop or like a single No, bird? it's like a mound of poop. It's like an emoji. Make like a performance balls. check. Oh. <laughs> poop paint. Oh, I rolled really low on this one. Four. Four. It takes a little convincing to have them see the poop in the drawing, yeah. and you like you can see it, but like you've seen better. Looks like sherbet. Is it a worm? It's, it's a snake. It's poop. It's I should have drawn a. Awful. I should have drawn a pile of poop. I draw a pile of poop next to it. <laughs> it helps, but that's a triangle. Yeah, I thought it was like chocolate frozen yogurt. This is math of some kind. Okay. It's dark, okay? What? I can usually <laughs> paint much better than this. It's really dark, and and my hands feel a little numb. Well, yeah. let's move then. Let's go. let's go. Who's going where? What are you guys doing? We're all, We're going, all going to the circus. Check out the circus. Stealthily over to the circus. All right, I'd like you all to roll another stealth check. Is no one staying behind? No. Nah. Some are staying Forget. away from yeah, the tent, talk to right? Yeah, going in, going in danger close. Ugh. 13. Oh, not nine. great. Nine. Seven. Seven. 19. 15. 13. Okay. Mm. You guys make your way through most of the docks ward oh, no. on your way to the large <laughs> blue tent that still stands ominously in the distance. Thankfully, the moon has come out and kind of casts this rim light against the structure, so it's easy to see. As you guys are making your way outside of the lock ward, um, you, you immediately see the approaching torchlight of, of uh, Crown's Guard, and one of them, you just faintly hear the 40 or 50 feet ahead of you go, who, who goes there? Is it one guard? It's two guards two on the side. They, 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 these watchers, they patrol in pairs. Are we like in an alleyway or in the street? Are we you guys, are, you guys are keeping off to the side. You're, you're, you're on the outskirts of the lake. Like you're almost made your way out of the city towards oh, where the. the I cast disguise self. No, no, no. Okay. And I, I turn into a crown's guard. Disguise self. Okay. And follow suit. You do as well. Yeah. All right. So you both become crown's guard. You, you all of a sudden are, are adorned in the, uh, the kind of goldish. Brass and red oh armor. God. Oh God! Um, All right. I'm in my black hood. I've got my like my hood up. Now. Anywhere to hide? Yeah, anywhere to uh, hide. Uh, there are like some small alcoves, but you guys are kind of out in the open now. They've they've seen you, All and right. uh, all of us. Well, they you don't know. They've they've seen you. They've they've called to you, and then both of you guys. I'm letting the change their talk. I'm staying. What are you doing? I walk into the lake and crouch down. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Jester walks out, wades wades about six splash. inches of water, and just. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Well, doing her best I, duck impression. I will. I will take off my mask and start attacking uh, Caleb in a in a convincing fashion. Not oh. like not Make like a to draw blood. Check. Real, but yeah. Yeah. A deception check. Okay. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> uh, can, she, can I start going? Oh, oh it, uh, uh, get off your little beast! To help <laughs> with the <laughs> illusion. <laughs> <laughs> sure, make a deception roll, check. Oh, my deception check was a three minus three. But <laughs> roll an advantage. Roll an advantage. An advantage? I'm helping you. You little. Seven Seven minus minus three. Okay. So, as soon as these two crown guards see this, they go, shit! They pull their blades and they start charging towards you, not oh to try and protect their other <laughs> crown guard, who's I currently take not and slam her into a wall as hard as I can. It's like down, you beast! All right. As they rush up, kind of at a jog, blades drawn. One of them's going to go ahead and attempt to strike. Oh, no. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, that is going to be a 14 to hit. Miss. So you manage to like <laughs> just narrowly oh, dodge the blade sweet. as it strikes through the back of your cloak and pins it to the side of what looks to be a wooden pole that uh, currently is, is on the outside of what looks to be an overhang where some of the fish are being left out to dry and turned into fish jerky. And uh, as you're kind of, it holds you in place and you're kind of snarling and looking scared, the other guy pulls out his blade and goes, where did this thing come from? I have it. And I punch not right in the face. Oh. All right. <laughs> you take one point of bludgeoning damage, not. Okay, great. And blood just begins to from the nose. Oh. I have this. We're taking these people across to Dale. Indeed, stay your blade, please. Obviously, he can handle this. Don't you fucking move, you little green piece of filth. <laughs> <laughs> right in your face. <laughs> Incredible. This one is mine. Thank you. Peter within an inch of a life. I want you to make a deception check on that one. We are just terrible. the worst. This is just terrible. <laughs> oh man. Natural 20. Yay! Oh, God! We practiced this before. Thank God, thank God, thank God! <laughs> we got this routine down. Oh. <laughs> You see, you, you see a look of disappointment come across the two uh, crowns guard faces at the the inability now to help you skewer this small, feral creature. Uh, they both kind of put the blades away. All right, if you see anything else, give a shot. Yeah. And they both continue their walk past the rest of you. The rest of you lot fall in line. I drag the little one off. <laughs> they look over at the. The teeth thing partially crouched in the water. She's, she's taking a shit. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Not in the Ustalak. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Uh, okay. <laughs> I get up. I stand up and. Slowly <laughs> Your <laughs> legs are soaked from, you know, thigh to foot. They both kind of eye you warily and slowly walk past. It's real cold out. Is the right, have they uh, kind of cleared the way? <laughs> Eventually, they pass yeah. beyond oh. a point where you feel absolute dread at their presence. Is that a natural thing for you guys to just attack each other in moments of stress? Are you, are you all right? I'm so very no, sorry. I'm fine. I'm that so was sorry. good. That was good acting. No, you, were was, good. you were perfect. I, did, I panicked. I didn't know what to do. I was trying to create some sort of distraction. Let me see your teeth. Okay. They're just... They yeah. look all right. They're yeah, all over the place. You're <laughs> 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 like a horse about it. Ooh, you pissed him a bit. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Who wants to go to the circus? <laughs> <laughs> Yay. All right. You guys make the rest of the path to the outskirts of the circus. And you can see at the very, very front uh, flap of it, there is a crown's guard who's like. <laughs> Sitting there, kind of his arms crossed in the front, just keeping an eye out. He's doing the late shift. Um, you do see the faint, distant, a uh, flickering glow of firelight from the back side of the circus. Back side of the circus. What is that? Why do you guys have like a? That's like where a we camp. Yeah, you saw it earlier. You saw the campfire. Oh, 
Oh, sure. Oh. If you want to make your ways around, I could distract him for a moment. Have a conversation. Do they still look like the King's or yeah. Crown's Guard? Yes. For an hour. Okay. Yeah. Sure. You want to go with them? I will go with him. Yeah? Sure. But will you be watching me or no? You don't have to. From King will go with you. All right. So we'll go. I'll go with you and who else is going? Are you stealthy? Oh, mm. uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll yeah. take care of you. Don't worry. They're not going to talk to you without me, so I'm coming The girls too. are going. I'm a little jittery. Girls you want to be a front man for a little while? Sure, I got it. Okay. Yeah. All right, so so what are the groups here? The girls and the boys. Caleb. Caleb, right. if you were. And, well, and, well, Molly, and Molly's, Molly's coming with And whatever Molly is. Yeah, whatever Molly is. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and Molly's going with her. Molly, who are you going with? <laughs> I'm, going with, I'm going with the girls because the circus kids won't talk to them without me. Okay. All right, so the three of you are going forward as you. So, what are you doing? I guess uh, I should ask. I'll walk up to the, the garden. It's a late night. Not much action this evening. Seen anything unusual? Uh, nothing yet. I hate this. Uh, wish this whole fucking circus would go. I need to sleep regular hours. Yeah, have you heard? How long are they supposed to be here? Wait until they finish this fucking investigation. Keep bugging them, picking people for information, but they're all just clammed up and not saying shit. At least you're by the tent. They've had us walking the perimeter of the lake the entire time. Oh, that's bullshit. Wish they'd just go ahead and execute that. Is it carnival master, whatever, get it over with. Did they find anything inside today? I mean, tell me something interesting, please. Oh, they investigated the corpses and found nothing yet. It's still in there if you want to take a look at it. Would you mind if we popped in? I mean, I suppose so. Make a deception check. Something good, something good? No. It's got, it's... Where is it? Jesus. Oh, 13. 13? 13. Okay, you can use like an eye. I suppose so. Um, go on in. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be quick, super fast. Please, get it over with. You pop in. It kind of stops you, it's like, if there's any way I can expedite this, like if you can pin it on any of them, we just kill them and take care of it. Let me know. Let's go. That worked way better than I thought. Like, we should just, I mean, should we look around for stuff or what? Uh, well, <laughs> let's, uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> let's have a, you are very, oh you are very good with voices. <laughs> Yeah, I'm do a little mimicry here and there. We should look. Come on, <laughs> check the grounds. Maybe we can find where the bodies were laid. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look around. If that's true. You guys look inside. The the tent is dark. Yeah. There's no light inside. Uh, I take a, uh, I take a rag out of my uh, side satchel, and I cast one. Um, uh, what the hell is it called? Because I've only been a wizard for a short time. One dancing light underneath the rag, so it's oh. very dim. To dull them. All right, cool. Yeah. So you have this kind of almost self-made hooded That's lantern cool. with the cloth you have. Made. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's dope. What the fuck are we looking for in here? And not you're going with them. I'm with the girls. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Where did the bodies us? fall? Over there, didn't they? That's right. Yeah. Well, let's search the ground. Okay. All right. Make your way. The smell is pretty bad. You can smell like the 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 flesh being to decay. Did they move the bodies or the bodies still in there? Uh, with a bit of look, the bodies are still where they left. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. They've not moved. Um, you can see what looked to be like a couple of uh, remnants of notes, like sheets that have been kind of crumpled and thrown down, but the bodies have been left where they are. Can we check the, uh, can we check the bodies for anything? Is there anything arcane? Yeah. Do I, to, from all my studies, does anything here ring any bell? I have a photographic memory. Go ahead and make a religion check. All right. <sighs> Terrible. Uh, that is uh, uh, 10. 10. Unfortunately, you don't have a lot of research in the undead or yeah. whatever might be the essence of this creature's creation. And the more you look at it, you're like, oh, this is not my specialty. Okay, yeah, what about the perimeters of, of here where all the people, where there were a swarm of people, spend five minutes just seeing if anything was okay. dropped of interest? Make an investigation check, yeah. both of you. <laughs> That's better. <sighs> Mr. <Miss> Twins. <laughs> uh, 16. 16. Big 10. Okay. 
Glancing about, you can see the track marks of everyone fleeing. You can see the spatters of blood. You can see the place where the transformation occurred, and there right. is like a horrible like shedding of certain layers of flesh. You can see what looks to be like almost previously existing uh, layers of flesh and muscle that were kind of shedded as this whatever this undead thing was kind of <laughs> fell to the ground. Um, but once again, uh, you make a religion check as well. Shedding okay. flesh. Roll an eye. And up ten. Well yeah, this, this is not your specialty. Yeah. You, have, you have a little experience with the undead and, I mean, and we, this type of magic. It's not so. that long in here. Maybe we no. just take a bit of it with us. Do you have a like a, a pocket? Or yeah, like I have a, many pockets, of course. Yeah. I have pockets. <laughs> like a jar. Uh, I got no pockets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you designed a character with no pockets? <laughs> Why would you do no that? <laughs> <laughs> He's just in a blue man group unicorn, yeah. and that's it. Well, like, Spot just got a nosebleed. He holds up the Ariana might hook me up with a pocket. All right, so, <laughs> so, we, so the, this dead thing is here in front of me? Two of them. Okay, there's, so the, there's the main one, there's the ground zero one, which okay. is what you were putting most attention on. There's the, the woman who was transformed as part of the first one. Uh, okay, so I will take my dagger and I will slice a little bit off of the woman, yeah. and then I will, uh, it's going to get dark in here. I uh, snuff out the uh, orb of light and I okay. use the rag to roll it up. In. And okay. I put that little piece into my pack. Okay. Ew. 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 Right. That's a <laughs> squishy, <laughs> soundy place it within your. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'm going to be sick. Agreed. Alrighty. Um, the four of you, I need you to roll stealth checks, please. Yes. Mm, not that one. Not that one. 20. Not that one. I don't feel good about it. I don't feel good about it. Oh, yeah. not bad. Not bad. Not bad. 21. 17. Yes. 18. Yes. 25. Yes. Without issue, you guys quickly dart around the side of the tent and make your way right towards the central area where the multitude of tents to this. Um, Back in camp in his place, there is a single campfire that is, the embers are burning out. It has not been kept up. Um, you do see two crowns guard that are currently just keeping watch. One of them is slumped in a chair across from the fire and is kind of like nodding off, and the other one is just doing like a basic patrol and looking around. Other than that, you don't hear any sounds. You don't see anybody else. Just the two crowns guard. Where are your friends? Which of the which of the uh, of a of a tents is currently occupied? There are four main tents. There are two very large ones, one that contains, uh, generally contains Toya and Kyori, um, the Devil Toad. Mm -hmm. uh, that's on the south side. There's the north large, like the largest tent. This one contains the Knot Sisters and uh, uh, Orna. Then there's a very, very small tent uh, to the south side that contains, or would be, uh, both the Breaker's tent, but he's not here. And then uh, there is kind of a medium-sized tent on the north side. Uh, that one, let's see who would be in that one. That one would be. I imagine uh, 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 probably. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't. It, it wouldn't be. It, it, yeah, Toya and Kari share a tent. That's right. Be Desmond. Yeah. Desmond would be the other one. Right. And it would be Gustav staying there as well. Yeah. Well, Gustav changes from the tent to the uh, the actual like actual, the cart. Wagon, so. Yeah. The cart. No, the wagon. The wagon. Hey. The wagon. Molly, I have a question. Mm. What made you guys set up your your tent here? We were told to set it up here, if I recall. Yeah, no, we, no, we were told. Like in this specific area? Uh, that sounds right. Yeah, if I were, if it, I recall, it, we were specifically told to set up tent right here. And it's yeah. by the lake, right? I mean, it's like no. maybe 150, 20, 200 feet away from it. Like, oh god, that's, wait a that's pretty close to a lake. Wait, wait a second. What feet? if they set up their tent on like a cursed land or something? It's the the, the lake um, is common. Girl. I'm going to just can we? What, what's the easiest tent to get to without without? Uh, well, do you want to go to the north side or the south side of the main? I want to go with whatever's oh, furthest away from the guards. Well, should we just go to the Toya tent? Toy tent's on the south side. It's the opposite side. You guys would have come in from the north end, probably. What's the easiest to get to without without? Uh, that would be the one that contains uh, Orna and the uh, the Nazis. Sisters. I'm just gonna sort of go back there and and do our traditional. <laughs> okay. I like it. There's actually no response. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> 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 I got Mona and Lily. 
Lily. I got my Mona and Lena. Like <laughs> telephone. Maybe it's Lily. <laughs> yeah. Yuli. Um, it's Mona and Yuli. Yuli. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to try one of the other tents, as, and there's, is it, I mean, like, are we getting, am I, am I getting the sense that, that, that any of them are in, or is it, or is it? Um, Look over here! Over here! Over here! <laughs> the other tent you get to and you make the same sound, this would be the one that Desmond hears mm-hmm. into. And there's a pause and you hear a very faint. I'm going to yes. very gently lift the back of the tent up. And not go in through the front, and just okay. You glance inside, and you can see, like leaning up from a bedroll, Desmond, who's like half awake, and kind of glances over and sees you, uh, out of outfit, out of makeup, uh, and he kind of gives a nod. Do you know what's going on? I assume we're, we're whispering. This is bullshit. Yeah. How is it? What's happened? They've come around and asked a few questions. We're trying to figure it out ourselves. Uh, are you okay? Could be worse. How's Gustav? Bosun? They couldn't be worse. And, uh, Yasha, Yashad. Uh, but did, I don't know, did uh, Toya see anything? Did she say anything? I mean, we're still trying to figure this out ourselves. Are you alone? No, I've picked up a few scracklers. They're idiots, but they're helping. Oh, bring them in, bring them in. We come in. Okay, you guys all enter the tent, and you see Desmond. Previously, you saw in these like very colorful outfits with like the frilled neck piece and the full facial makeup. Now you see what looks to be a man in his late 30s with a very scarred left side of his face. It looks like it was shredded at one point in his youth. Um, that the makeup hid during the performance. Um, as soon as you enter, even upon greeting him, he kind of has a very kind of, I don't know, a sad presence to him. And even though you're all kind of under cover of night and have this conspiratorial conversation, um, he just kind of has this melancholy about him that permeates the space inside the tent. Oh, so, so you were all the ones that Helped earlier, thank you. It would have been far worse if you hadn't. No problem. What do they think happened? What are they asking? Uh, they're, th- they're thinking something about the show. They're thinking Gustav made this happen. I don't think it's Gustav. He's a good man. He makes poor choices. He makes poor choices. You know, it's plagued him his whole life. You, know, you can see it in his brow. There. You know, but good intentions have grave consequences. And when that good comes out of Shady Creek Run without some mistakes behind him, but I don't see him, don't see him doing this. What would be the point? Has it ever happened like this before? No. Nope. Anything weird ever happened before? Oh, weird things all the time. We're a bunch of weird folk. Work with a lot of weird people. A bunch of strange, strange freaks gathered to this show. Is there anyone new here recently that you haven't worked with a lot? Yeah, she barely ran off. Gosh, she's the newest, but... What about? She can be flighty. What about? What about Mona and Yuli? <laughs> <laughs> the sisters are bitter. The sister what? The sisters are bitter, but it's no fault of theirs. Why are they bitter? Because the world is cruel. You never met it. Well, never mind. I wish I could help him, but it... The world is, why, why do, why is the world, what happened to him? Are you drunk? What's no, going on? I'm trying, I'm trying to hear it and whisper all the same You can time. talk in a normal volume. Yeah, we're I think okay, so we can. Magical whisper, right? Magical whisper, cone of whisper. Cone of whisper. Matt, cone of whisper. Cone of whisper. Cone of whisper. Uh, oh, God, that's a new thing now. Yeah. <laughs> what did they say? Why do, why do they think that? Why is the world <laughs> shitty? Have you been around? Have you traveled? To see anything? Yeah, burn. yeah. She's a bit dim. Listen, the world all has its own brand of shitty depending on whose eyes are looking at it, right? So, what is their brand of shitty? Circus shitty. I don't know. Ask them. All right. Let's they don't. Yeah. Where are they? Tent to over there. They don't seem to take much of a liking to me anyway, so I can't really tell you myself. I'm sorry. They don't like you? Why? 
There's a lot of people that don't like me. <gasps> so I like why? You What'd you I do? Think you're great. Kind of looks at you and goes, same reason folks probably don't like you. You're different. Hmm. Is everybody still here? They're not taking anyone away other than. Uh, I've noticed everyone else is here. We're just keeping under watch until their investigation is complete. Molly, why did you laugh when I asked about the sisters? We're carnival people. We're all a little. Uh, we've all got our issues. <laughs> you don't end up here if you're not a little weird. Can I try something? I want to try to cast Detect Good and Evil. Mm. Okay. Right? On? On the area, but it lasts up to 10 minutes, so it's within 30 feet of me. You ever cast this before? No. First cast. First cast. First cast. First blood. First blood. Okay. <laughs> so you cast yeah, it, you concentrate. Wow. You reach down and kind of grasp the uh, the, the bottom of your, your symbol that hangs around your belt, and there's a, a, f a faint rush of divine force given to your consciousness. And you don't sense within 30 feet of you any fiendish or celestial or uh, fae or undead or aberration. Nothing that's been desecrated. Nothing from this. And okay. feet Does it now. follow her? Yeah, it follows Yes, it's like a around. radial thing. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Let's keep going. Yeah, Maybe yeah, we'll yeah, see yeah. something. Um, um, can we head? Can am I close to the edge of the main tent? Are all these like the, the two tents? Two tents to the north, which is there, there's like a, a bigger one and a medium one. Uh -huh. uh, the one that you're in right now is the larger one to the north, and this one contains. Uh, uh, actually, no. The one that you guys are in right now are the, are the, the smaller, the two, the medium one, the one that contains him. The large one contains both of the sisters and uh, uh, Orna. Okay. And then they're closer to the big tent. Where's the big Correct. tent? The big tent is about 10, 15 feet from the one you're in right now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, let's leave. All right. I'll get up to the edge of the big tent and I want to see if I can feel anything weird in that area. Okay. Is everyone else staying inside? Or are you going we're, we're all we're going with. But before we leave, I'll, I'll ask Desmond, from one outcast to another, are there any questions that are bugging you about all this? <sighs> Give me thanks for a second. I just don't want this all to fall on Gustav. He's done a lot of good for all of us, and the way they're talking about the investigation, they're looking to make a scapegoat of this. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that's how we're working on that's it. That's how they talk to each other. Roger <laughs> <laughs> Lamar. We're working on it. That's how carnival folk talk to each other. I'm sorry, fuck's sake. I'm doing my best. Thank you. I'm going to quietly sneak out the back of the tent again right. and um, sneak into the. Into the Another stealth check, my friends. Oh God, I hate all of this. Who should I? I'm going to give uh, Molly blessing, so I, you get advantage. Oh. Twenty-one. Thirteen. Okay. Not great. Thirteen. <clears throat> Roll the crit. With advantage. With advantage. Okay. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. You guys make your way up to the edge of the tent. Of cock. Fuck off. Ah, I'm not going to make the noise, I'm just going to... Right, as you make your way over to the edge of the tent where the, uh, the sisters and Orna are, <coughs> um, you focus and concentrate. Nothing. No, no radial <sighs> thing. Um, one of the, the guard who's still standing up and kind of making a patrol kind of looks over right as you guys duck behind, and you hear like a, huh? Uh-oh. Quick, go in the tent. I'm going to go in the tent. We all duck under the tent and go and the act like we're sleeping. <clears throat> you guys all dodge into the tent just as the guard begins to pass around you hear the footsteps around. As you step in, you watch as the two not sisters kind of she both curl into like a ball and stay really quiet. And all of a sudden Sheena kind of comes to consciousness and the footsteps finish a circle and then go back towards where the fire is. That was close. 
She only leans in and goes like, okay, what is going on? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What the fuck is going on? There with me, it's been complicated. Uh, Gustav's in deep. Bo's in, you know, Bo's in deep. Tell us you know something. What do you want to know? What did you see, I don't know. Who did this, what was it? You're oh yeah, now you knew it again. Yeah, I don't, you talking to Orna? Or I don't know. I looked and I saw what you saw. Oh, this is Orna, I assume. This is Orna, yeah. Orna, Orna's the fire dancer. Right, okay, okay. For fuck's sake. They're gonna, oh, they're gonna kill every last one, fucking one of us unless we figure this out. She's like, all right. What do you think? Well, the fucking, the sisters over here think it's a hit job, but no, there's a hit job with zombies? Are you fucking kidding me? Hit job? I think, I don't know, I think that they're trying to cover something. <laughs> It's not surprising. Um, can I inside check the uh, the sisters? What are they doing right now? They're both just quietly kind of curled in watching you guys talk. They're not saying anything, though? Not yet. If you want to ask them something, you go. Do they look nervous, or they're just being shit? Make an inside check to find out. Yeah. While she's doing that, I'm going to try to sneak out the underside of the tent again and go to the big tent. Okay. I'll go with her. All right, this is this is a bit of a leap. This goes about 25, 30 feet south of where you are. No problem. Um, around the campfire that's open. Open space. No light, problem. Light and open space. So, go ahead and make yourself a check, guys. <clears throat> God. I miss to pass without a trace. 23. Oh I know. Oh. That's a number. Oh. And Sam's lower teeth show. Nine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, what was your insight check? Fifteen. Fifteen. They both look nervous, but just untrusting of the scenario. You can't read anything deeper than that. There is definitely kind of a, hmm, but you're, you can't quite get a full beat on them. Um, you guys, as you curl around, the outside, and there's the one guard that's sitting in the chair by the fire who goes like, and kind of opens his eyes a little bit and looks over in uh, your direction, Jester, and there's like a brief moment where he's just kind of looking right at you. Do you do anything? I freeze. Stands I, up. Can I use? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I'm going shit balls, shit balls, shit. I'm just kind of tucking, I'm tucking going around, to, let me see. <laughs> getting ready. You're around. You don't see anything. Oh, I don't. I don't see this. Oh, I'm so, sorry, going he doesn't to, see you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. I'm just getting ready for. I'm going to cast charm person on the guard that sees me. Okay. So as he stands up, he kind of goes towards you and yeah, kind of goes for his blade uh, <laughs> and has to make a saving throw. Oh boy. Which he does not make. Oh. I don't think so. It's like a six. But he remembers. No, no, it's like thirteen or something. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he gets like, like, I'm not here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go to sleep. This is a dream. Make, make a persuasion check. That's so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so close. <laughs> this is so bad. Five. <laughs> he doesn't seem to buy the dream thing, but he's like. You want it to be a dream? <laughs> he doesn't go to sleep, but he just knows you're there and he's keeping an eye. He's not doing anything. Okay. Well, that's good enough, I guess. <laughs> that's good. Keep definitely going. aware that you're there. Okay. All right. I'm going to go towards the big tent just so I can see if I can sense any evil. Okay, uh, really quickly, just to check, because it's, oh, that's right, it's a, that's right, charm person is not. It's not, yes. Okay, it's at this point that you turn your attention to the tent and focus, and there is a hefty, radiating, <gasps> Warm, fiendish source from the inside of that large tent. I found something. I found something. I can sense something. I can sense something. We should go in. Let's go in the tent. Go in, but if it's bad, that's bad. What if it's just the dead thing? 
Oh God, what, what we have to fight a dead thing? Shouldn't oh. we get some help? I turn to Caleb's cat and I say, go, go get Caleb, go get Caleb, shoot. Shh, go! I can't speak cat! Go away! The cat kind of like... <laughs> go away! Go tell Caleb we're here! Go! Yes! <laughs> Turns around and kind of sprays you and then keeps walking. Uh, <laughs> okay, yep. I've sent for help. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just, let's go into the tent. All right, let's okay. go. So you guys carefully <laughs> maneuver like, under the tent. On. As soon as you curl into the interior, an interior, the interior of the tent, you hear a very heavy This is the big tent that you guys were just in? No. No, it's the one on the south side of it. Yeah, this is a different one. Oh! It's the far turn man, yeah. And you see the slowly expanding and contracting form of Kyle from the from the backside. You just see this giant, scaly, somewhat kind of oily exterior of the body. Or that's why you detected him, because he's just a fiend. Maybe he's a good fiend. Can fiends be good? I don't know, you detect him. <laughs> Is he still sleeping? He's still sleeping. We can wake him up and ask. And ask if he's good or bad? Yeah. Mm. Is anyone else in the tent? Make an investigation. Or sorry, it's, it's a perception check. One. <laughs> oh, no. oh no, we suck at this. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, everything. 17. Okay, oh, that's okay. better. <laughs> you just stare right at the body of this toad going. It looks really big nope. and scary. <laughs> you, you glance and see just like a faint bit of like kind of a whitish material in the crook of the arm. And you kind of take a few steps forward and glance around the side, and you can see a sleep cradled in his large lizard man arms. Uh, Toya, the dwarf girl, is just kind of curled up and asleep peacefully. We should talk to her, but if we wake her up, he's going to be mad, and I guess we have no Helping. choice. We should talk to her. Okay. Oh, she's a she is dwarf? She's dwarf. Do you speak dwarvish? Yeah, uh, no. No, we Maybe don't. Maybe she speaks common. We'll be fine. Yeah. She's a circus person. It's carnival. Speak common. Huh? Yeah, no, I'm not He's there. Not there. I'm or, not there. I'm sure we'll be fine. I have that ability, you know, lets you know exactly where the thing is. Which of those things is the fiend? Which of these things is the fiend? <laughs> yeah, no, it's the large it's source. It's definitely it's the, the large fiend. Could've fiend. Could have easily been a little girl. Right? It could have been, yeah. Please. It's the big guy. Let's, yeah. let's wake her up. Yeah. It's you, you, the, the, the radiance is around the, uh, the uh, large. Oh, yeah. Toya, singing, okay, okay. singing let's, dwarf. Let's sit down on the ground and look non-threatening at all, okay? All right. So we sit down like cross-legged. Mm -hmm. Okay, just like casual. Yes. Like, like we're having a tea party. Put my hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my help. And then we go. Toya, Toya, wake up. Wakey, wakey. The breathing stops, and there's the stillness in the interior of the tent. We should light, light a light or something. Otherwise, it's just we're just in the dark. You hear this like faint see. sound of squeaking, <laughs> as somewhat lubricated folds of lizard man flesh twist over each other, as the devil toad's head kind of curls back to look at you quietly. The mouth slightly ajar. You can see rows of teeth, and this little bit of kind of drool dripping down the edge of the chin, kind of <laughs> onto the ground. What you want? We are here to talk to Toya. Which point the little girl kind of. Uh, we can see. <laughs> and like rotates in his space. Like he takes up almost the entirety of this tent and slowly rotates around inside. Surprisingly quiet for as large a creature as he is. And still clutching Toya. Toya kind of sits up and. What's happening? Hi. Hi. Sorry to disturb your slumber. She takes her braids and kind of holds them with her hands. It's almost like a safety blanket. She kind of curls them to herself. She's she looks about maybe like eleven or twelve. Okay. You know, I'm this close, you can see she looks younger than she did from from that distance before. It might be the presence of the mature voice, but she seems pretty young. But not like she's not childlike. Okay. Um, 
Oh, hey, what's going on? <laughs> well? Um, Do you recognize us from the other night? Last night? Last night. Last night. Last night? I don't remember. I got scared. It was scary. You have a really pretty voice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, did you notice how when you sang that um, a dude turned into a zombie? <laughs> <laughs> she kind of gets to chuckle. And the, and the big toe kind of... <laughs> I, I did. And he just, it was really scary. I didn't like it at all. I didn't. I didn't do that, did I? Uh, probably not. Has I mean, it happened before, or yeah. is that? No, no. The guards were saying I probably did that. They're saying I might have done that. Is it, was it? And it's interesting. You notice now, listening to her, she has this beautiful voice, but her speaking voice is very crackly. It's it sounds almost damaged. Do you sing all the time, Toya? I, I sing a lot. It, it's what it's what keeps me alive. It's what gets me money. Right. I understand that. Was that the same song you always sing? Yeah. It's the one song I know. Did what? it feel the same coming out of you, or was it different? It felt the same. What language is it? Oh, <laughs> it's an old dwarven tune. My mother taught it to me before she passed. What does it mean? Uh, it's a tale of uh, the angels and how they came from the realms beyond of the gods, and they granted each to us our sparks of life. Hmm. Granted sparks of life. Does that sound like a familiar story that they've heard before? Mm -hmm. It sounds vaguely religious, but... When you were singing, did you hear any other sounds or words that someone else was saying? No, not beyond the ordinary. And I saw that poor man just start tearing through people, and I, I got scared, and Kyle helped me, and she kind of like puts her arm up and pats him, and kind of... How did you and Kyle meet? Uh, I, they brought me into the circus. Uh, I was up, and... A uh, city north of here, up very far north of the Merrill Valley, and I was just on the street singing. And this carnival came by, and I, I met Gustav, and he invited me to join. And that's where I met Kyle and I met all oh, those wonderful people. Has anyone new come around and talked to you? No. Asked you to do anything? It's so strange. Man, we mm. suck at this. No, we're really good. <laughs> you know, no, the newest people we've had are the Molly Mock and Yasha. They're new? Well, comparatively, Molly Mock's been here for, you know, almost two years now. And, oh, okay. I mean, but, you know, he came after I did. We both kind of found our voice together. I was very scared and. He wasn't talking, and together we kind of helped each other learn to, you know, have fun again. And yesterday before the show, you didn't notice anything weird? Anyone creeping around the carnival, setting up anything? No. Snooping around! Anybody in weird cloaks? Cloaks, cloaks! I didn't see anything. It's okay. hand on Ford's shoulder and say, I'm going to be blind for a second. Give me a little slap if anything goes wrong. And I tune in to uh, Prumpkin. Okay. Who should at still be at right. this point in time, you notice at this point, um, <laughs> not going, shoo, ka, go find help. <laughs> <laughs> then you're, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then what? Prumpkin takes off? Prumpkin starts heading back around back. towards you. Oh. Okay, so I'm looking at myself after a moment. Briefly, as you yeah. keep concentrating, eventually Frumpkin finds his way under the tent and comes up to you. Got it. Mm. Is there anyone you think would want to destroy the carnival or hurt Gustav? Does Gustav have any enemies? I hope not. I know him and Orna argue a lot, but... Him and Orna? Orna! It's Orna! Orna's the one! Thanks very much, we're out of here! 
Yeah. All right. And you guys, oh, yeah. let's go. Let's go. We've got. We solved the case. I'm, I have a. I have a little. I'm gonna have a little conversation. Just a tiny bit of yeah, conversation. Yeah. So while they're gone, the two of you are in the other tent with uh, the sisters and Orna. I would like to talk to the sisters. Okay. While all that is going on. <laughs> Both kind of sitting there, like knees tucked to their chest. Uh, I just kind of go and I just sit down next to him, kind of put my knees up to, you know. Kinda. This whole thing's really messed up, right? Yeah, you're telling us. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, why? Why would we do anything like that? You know, I mean, we're, I feel like we're all being like needlessly persecuted. <sighs> I'm sorry. Who are you? <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, I'm Bo. The other Bo but I helped fight the zombies the other night. I'm kind of under like house of, I'm, we're under the same situation, just kind of, like, kind of separately. Not really, I don't want to like compare myself to you because that would be rude, but you know. The two Affling twins kind of look at each other and back at you and like. Her name's Bo. She's, uh, she's helping, she's awful. You have a lot in common. Mm. Okay, well, I mean, whatever you want to know. He's such a dick. Why is he such a dick? Well, he's great. Why are you such a dick? Reversal! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, he's just, he's been talking shit about you like this whole time. I don't know. I Make just... a deception check on that. Stir in the pot. Okay, it's okay. 15. I'm going to walk by the two twins because I'm, I'm just sort of circling the tent, just trying to get a look. Okay. I've absolutely been talking shit. You're both terrible. Give them both a kiss on the head and keep walking. Okay. They both kind of. All right. So what are you trying to do? What am I trying to do? I'm trying to figure out who's behind all of this, so that we can keep moving on with our lives. All right. Well, get it over with. As soon as this is done, we're out. They're. They may not let us leave. They may be killing us all. They're not going to kill us all. They're not going to kill us all. They're weird out there. They're very weird out there. <sighs> Your guys' performance was amazing, by the way. I Thanks. We're, we're stealthing over to that tent, by the way. I thought we were stealthing over to the big, the main tent. The one with the, the Orna in it. Orna's, Orna's, Orna's in the tent with yeah. in the tent with How far Are you guys going to the main tent? I like wanted to get to the main tent to see if I could sense any evil in the big main oh, tent. Oh, we want to swoop by okay. the main tent? But if it's really far away. Uh, not too far away from where you were, because you're kind of backing okay. outside of it. So you can go ahead and stealth around and make, it right. make a stealth check, oh, both God. you guys, one more time. Please, no one, please, no whammies, no whammies. Big money. Big money, big money, big I'm money. Fine. Hey! Nice. And what'd you get? 22. Yeah, the two of you without issue make your way around uh, towards the large tent uh, without being seen. Any, However. Any evil? I'm sensing it. Nothing. God damn it. And no, the, fuck me. To Orna. We know who it is. While you're we talking to the, the twins, I'll be talking to Orna, so. <laughs> Sorry, like, oh, for fuck's sake. To be honest, if it's any easier, it's probably Gustav. Really? It's not. Fucking goose dog. It probably up. is. You shut up, Holly. I'm. We're he's a having. Prank. He doesn't know what he's doing. Mouth. He's gonna run this whole carnival into the ground. Don't <laughs> take the fall for it. We all get away on this. No. 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 So wait, it's, it's probably Gustav? I might just say that. Because he's in prison, he's the leader, he's fucked this whole thing by letting this happen. Oh, wow, you have interesting perspectives. Hey, uh, weird question. How do you guys come up with your acts? Is that something that you guys create yourselves? Or do you guys like workshop it? So she's never experienced boredom, it's very weird. Yeah, it's um, impressive. Hey, Orna? Or knows. Yes? I mean, I know your feelings on all this. What do you think? <sighs> Look at this. He bosons a stand up guy. A bit of a self absorbed dick at times. I mean, 
We all knew Gustav was going to shit the bed sooner or later. I mean, this is his karma. Just don't know how or why I can guarantee you. If this was my carnival, this shit would have happened. Wait, this is real. Karma? Mm-hmm. What exactly would you have done? Well, first <laughs> off, I would have made sure that uh, we had better uh, support from the guard before this all happened so nobody else got killed. They were useless. Um, secondly, uh, I would have made sure that the, uh, uh, there wouldn't have been any old folks that made it in to fucking turn into shit. Well, that's on me, and that's on me. Um, I don't know. You feel the same way, not sisters? I feel like this is karma on Gustav. They would. At which point, the, the, the flat back of the flap tent opens up, and it's Jester. <laughs> You have a lot of explaining to do! A lot of explaining to do! Shut up! Shut up. Huh? We talked to Toya. She knows know it's you who did this! Like all the time. You're the one behind the whole plot! You did it! The two knots just immediately go. <laughs> Orna, is it you? Did you kill that guy? I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. What the fuck is this? Why who the fuck turn that guy into a zombie? Who do you work for? Or not. Or not. Inside check on the Nazi sisters. Go for it. <laughs> They've got Nazi oh. in their name. <laughs> not sisters. Not sisters. Oh, <laughs> Natural twenty. Yes. Oh. Oh. Problem. But my my stats are so neat because of DND Beyond tonight. Okay. <laughs> There's no pencil smudges. No, oh, I know, really I know. Right nice. now, I've got 14 and 15 hit points. It opens, it closes. You can see your spells yeah. when you need to see them without flipping. Them. I've, I've got a little iPad button on the back of my oh, pen. Yeah. Quite nice, so I can. Stop move. talking! Oh, this no, <laughs> no <Nope>. goblin. <laughs> Stop biting. Or is this, to be perfectly honest. I have no idea what's going on. Y'all just came in here, started throwing accusations at me. Gustav got arrested. Bozen got arrested. Molly got arrested. I'm glad you got off that. Mm. But, to be, but to be perfectly honest, this whole thing's a shit show. And the circus is probably not going to be the same after this. Inside check on the. Inside check on us. <laughs> Uh, my cat is on patrol because we've been standing with our dicks in our hands for a long time. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. No, I'm not complaining, but right. I would have sent the cat out. <laughs> kind of hard to read. She seems generally frustrated and, and cut off guard by this. Yeah, or, or, not, or no, you might as well come clean. This is classic you. <laughs> <laughs> Molly. I'm just trying to. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you too. <laughs> Uh, it's no secret that, that Orna and Gustav have their differences, but this is ridiculous. I mean, she knows damn well that half the circus would leave if he fucking got arrested and died. For real worried about this? There. Do you really think? Who could be? Let's let's beg. Gustav, he's an idiot, but he's not a murderer. Bozen, bit of a dick, but he's a stand-up fella. Toya. Absolute dog. Could have a fly. Mono and Yuli, they're cunts. But they're not gonna kill anyone. Desmond's a weird fella. There's something dark in his past. You can see it in his melancholy. Well, this is not his style. It's Desmond. Let's go to his tent! I just grab. <laughs> and. <laughs> There's some, there's some untrustworthy intelligence in those lizard eyes of that devil. I did get a very evil kind of vibe off him. What do you mean evil kind he's of vibe? He's a devil. Well, I mean, you know, he's a fiend. A... He's a what? The, de de the devil toad guy. He's I'm, a fiend. That's just a name. It's not actually like a real thing. That's just, that's just, a, I mean, he's, He's a, he's a, a, well. You guys know he's a fiend, right? There's like this moment of silence, like, he's supposed to be lizard folk. <gasps> what are you? It's the lizard man! <laughs> I grab 
<laughs> I grab and just push you down into the ground and hold you. Not yet. You guys, what are you doing? In this case, what? I mean, just because we were standing here so long, I would have been gotten nervous and, and again held onto this guy's big bicep and sent the cat out. Okay. Why are you going all catatonic on me? So, <laughs> so as. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, as, like, how, how. as the cat yeah. darts under the tent and makes its way through, glances over to the fire and sees a large, dark shape step out from one of the tents. And you watch as one of the guards, who's kind of sitting in the chair, kind of like stands up and then crumples onto the ground without a sound. And you see the other guard kind of look over, and go over and run up to him and start checking on him, saying his name. You guys begin to hear a, a, a voice in the back start saying, Damon? Damon? Just one of the guards. One of the guards. Fjord, Fjord, something bad is happening. You watch as the as the the figure, the dark figure, kind of spins, and there's like this kind of flash, <gasps> two flashes of red this in the shadow is nearby, is and you watch as the other guard suddenly like grabs his head and goes, <laughs> and like grasps at his chest and falls onto the back as oh, his legs kind of curl sick. up. What the, what the fuck? Do I know where and the, the shadow, relation to Ford and I this is? Uh, it is to the east of you by about 150 feet. Oh. Can you talk to me when you're looking through the cat? No. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. talk, but I can't hear anything when I'm doing Correct. this. Okay. You watch as the shadow then. Bounds like a giant frog. Frog is on the move. Frog is on the move. Northward. <gasps> Away from us. And, and I, but I don't know where the others are. Uh, you guys hear the name calling, and then silence once more. <gasps> Can we peek outside of the tent and see what's going on? Sure. You guys go ahead and rustle underneath, and you look, just as you watch as the uh, the guard on the ground is like. <laughs> oh, I hear it. <gasps> And just stops moving. You see all the veins bulging. Uh, I run up to the guard and check his pulse. Is he still alive, or is he just paralyzed? Uh, as you kind of come out of the the tent, you watch okay. as the flesh on his neck and throat <laughs> splits, oh. and a very familiar transformation begins oh, to take place. No. Back the tent, as back both of the, the guards begin to. <laughs> oh no! 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 We have to fight them. Uh, get them in the tent. We can get them out. I come out of it and I uh, there. Uh, Zombies, and I start running uh, towards uh, the tent that I saw a Jester peek out from Anta. Okay, as you guys rush underneath the large blue tent, you watch as the two guards that are slowly, I'm saying, slowly, quickly bulging and mutating, bits of their flesh kind of dislodging from their body and falling. And you watch now up close, uh, similar to the last time, but now that you're looking intently for this transformation, you can see where instead there should be blood. It's almost like dust and sand, kind of. <laughs> Begins to spill from the wounds, something that you had noticed a little bit in the body of the old man before, but it didn't—you didn't know if it was decomposition or just general dirt. Girls, we're not supposed to be there. Here, can you help us handle this? You watch the, the, the two halfling twins like, "Fuck no!" <sighs> we're gonna do what we can. When in doubt, if something goes wrong, oh, just nudity—it usually works. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> the two mutated guards now, their armor like bulging and broken in places, start <sighs> turn towards the noises in the tent where you guys are. Are we all, are we all in the same tent or are we in two different tents? You guys are all tent. in one tent yeah. with the other girls. You're all like, jammed in the space. The two of you make your way outside of the, of the, uh, the large tent as you watch these two bulging, zombified creatures making their way towards a tent. And that's where we're going to pick up. Oh! 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 Bastard. Because it is 11 or 9. It is 11 or 9. We're supposed to be there. Oh, shit. We're going to get afraid for it. And yeah, we can't, exactly. We can't get afraid. Can I just say? Save the day, we'll be fine. The no, Laura, Laura and I busted pressure. the case wide yeah, open. <laughs> <laughs> we solved the case. <laughs> Easy. Totally. Which one's couple, Nancy? Which boom. one's Drew? No. Couple inquisitions. Couple little uh, yeah. fo following the clues. Right, just, right. just one more question. Just one more question. Bad cop. Bad cop. When that, when that demon frog leapt, how high and how far, uh, approximately, did it look like it went? Uh, it looks like it leapt about twenty to twenty-five feet in the air. Damn. And traveled about 40 feet with a leap. It was a large arc. We definitely can't fight that thing. Sure we can. Sure oh we can. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. 
Okay. You saw it escape northward from where you are. Uh, and did it look like the same the figure? Uh, at Yasharan, like uh, Yasharan North, Northeast. Okay. Uh, this is just straight north from where you are, which Away is towards the towards the Ustalok. It is towards, uh, towards the Ustalok. It's a fucking blink. It's a fucking blink. Yeah, that's Ustalok. Super oh, duper. Oh man, this is good, dude. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. See, here's my thing. Does anyone else notice that the zombie transformations? Kind of seem like a serpent shedding its skin because they Maybe. always slough off their skin. Mm-hmm. Mm. But it's also done without any contact. Mm. Wait, what? It's Wait, done what? without any contact. Like, he right, never he touches just them. Does yeah. yeah, he touched them, didn't he? No. no. I thought he did. No, no he they just the show, suddenly either. began no. to. No. It's right. not like a fight. Hey, bonus news though. The charm spell guy is isn't going to turn <laughs> 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 Look at that silver lining. <laughs> Welcome. The season got dark. Yeah. Season got dark. Whoa. Tight, tight, tight to tight. Good shit, man. All righty, guys. Yeah. Your little damaged voice. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to make it fun. I wanted to cough for her. Level two is cool. cool. Right. We'll pick up it's there so next hard. week. Yeah. Got the chase is on, apparently. Man. Um, Thank you guys so much for being awesome. Thank you guys for coming along and watch with us. We'll pick this up next Thursday, where we left off, right in the middle of this campsite. Um, until then, have a wonderful week. Mm. We'll see you guys then. And is it Thursday yet? <laughs> Good night. Oh, man.